And very good morning to you. It's Saturday, the 14th of September, 2013. Welcome to the first Saturday United Kingdom talk. Yes, uh, as from now, we've moved from Friday mornings to Saturday afternoons at your request. OK, at your request. I did give you some options. And also, to be honest, you know, because it's a little bit easier for me because I'm to and from the foot clinic at the moment in London with trouble with the old feet. Yes, it really is. Now, I hear footsteps. Oh, a very good morning to you. Dash. Now, very this, look, it's my dash. best friend, Ron. Did you bring me any tea? Yeah, no, I didn't. You didn't ask for one. Very slapdash, dear. Very unhappy that I've had to come well, Hang on a minute, because I haven't got, I'm not even ready for you. Tea. Literally, and I'm, shut up. Tea. They can't hear you. I don't know why you're whittering away there. I haven't sorted the mic out yet, have I? They can't even see you yet. Can you see the cameras here? Camera here, you're there. That's what they see there, okay? Just to let you know the technological things. That, you've just knocked the mirror ball, look. I've got to tell you, I was so I was sitting here, quarter past 11, I'm all ready to go. I've got my little stack of papers here and things are happening. So I thought I'd just dash out and post a letter because I knew the the the, um, uh, the postman took the letters right about half past eleven. I got to the letterbox ten past eleven. Put it in the box. Thought I just checked the label eleven o'clock. So I've missed him this morning. Got back here about half past eleven. I've sat in here already, and at f four minutes to twelve, the phone rings. I've it's that. it's me. Um, well, you, there's no missed call on here. Well, there should be. Where's the missed call? Look, they can't even see you yet. Are you hiding that, that piece of, of bake, bake wool tart from your other half, are you? There we are. Oh, oh okay. Oh, uh, thank you. 11.48, yeah, two minutes before the other call. Yeah, to say that I'm on my way and that I needed tea. Right, so, so still 11.48, so you give me 12 minutes to sort out a microphone and a chair well, and all say, that. You didn't say the, the chair. They still can't hear you. They still can't hear you. Right, hang on. Of course they can hear me. Right, hang on a minute. Of course they can hear me. Okay, talk. Well, mm, 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 That's mm, not what. Mm. No, it's not on. Oh, hang on, try that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it. Speak. I have a mouthful of pie. Well, I can see that, dear. The thing is... Right. You've asked me to come. Yes. I was up until very, very late. Right, come come into view. Come oh, into view moment. now. Let me eat my cake. Eh? Um, come into view, One dear. moment, I'm come eating. In. And mind those wires on the floor. <laughs> Look, you're, you're, on, you're on the... Oh, God's sake. I haven't got a clue, have you? Yeah. And no swearing either. Oh, what's going on now? Wait a minute. Oh, that's from Orange. Okay, uh, I'm just about sorted. You come a bit closer here. Move that there. What I have to say okay. is this is, is that, not quite hello? the BBC. Is that working? Of course it's not the BBC. I haven't got the thousands of pounds that they have. Right, you need to be seen there, okay? As you can see, all you can see is an eye at the moment. A shoulder. I'll move over a bit further. That's a shoulder. Actually, you might be better with that one. That's nearer to you. And that's nearer to you. There's a terrible noise, but I think that's coming from the headphones. I hope it is anyway. terrible noise coming from your Yeah, that's mouth. it. Is that better? There we are. Hang on a minute. Let me check my levels. You on there now? Right, speak, bitch. Thank you. And you told me not to swear. That's not swearing. Of course it is. It's not. In the derogatory way that you just described well, it. I can hear you now. Oh, eh? But we speak like that all the time to each other. Well, I speak like that to you anyway. Yeah. Can you stop touching my leg? Right. Please. So, you need to be seen in that one there. <sighs> and see, so you're still not far enough over. Is I it? am. I can see myself. Can That's fine. You might be better on a stool, actually. I know you're... Be better in a wheelchair. Move over. It's fine. That'll do. Well, then I'm out of the picture. No, you need to be out of the picture. No, I, I, need, I need to be in the picture, dear. I need to be in the picture. No. Huh? Hello? Hello? Oh, Get me an ambulance. No, Hello? Hello? Oh. It's unplugged. Right, so, you need to, you make sure you're in there all the time. Oh, I don't okay? have to be, as long as I can hear and you, And in there fine. all the No, it does matter. Why? Because it's YouTube as well, isn't it? People want to see your ugly face. Oh. I see you haven't bothered doing anything this morning to it. Well, I didn't need to because I was only coming around here for hobby radio. It's not hobby radio. This is the proper chat show, dear. Just in case you're wondering, if you're a new viewer, boys and girls, or a new listener, this is my best friend Ron. He is in complete and utter pain. A complete and utter pain. He's not even put a nice shirt. Look, look at the lovely shirt I've put on for the viewers this morning. Do you not recognise this at all? Where I got this from? On our little visit to um, Florida. Oh, we a bit more light in there, darling. Mm -hmm. I thought it was I... maybe another one of your Sue Ryder things. <laughs> Sue Ryder? Did she make t-shirts then? 
Oh, she says I'm in a chair. Oh, oh, Christ. Just a minute. I'm on something here. Uh, this is not really on the ball, are you, love? Do you want me to get you a stool? No, I easier. prefer the chair, thank you. It's much comfortable. Well, I'll, I'll have, have to done. get the stool then, I suppose. Well, you have the stool then, because I'm staying in the chair. What it is, I don't think there's enough room for the two chairs here. Oh, um, eh? Nothing. What did you say? Nothing. Let me go to the bathroom. Just talk anyway, about something. Anyway, so, um, yes, our trip to Rome. Look at the lens, not the view. I'm not looking at the picture of me. Um, yeah, so the, um, the trip to Rome. That's obviously why I'm here. Um, it was wonderful. Um, very, very disappointed with BA, though. Plane was very old and very shabby. Oh, uh, the lounge plane. I'm talking. It was a fine plane. No, it wasn't. Oh, no, it's such an old fleet. Um, and have it's you such seen a the shame. new ones? The A380s. Have you not seen the pictures of the, the A380s? Yeah, but the A380s don't fly to Rome. Well, not do yet. They? they don't know. They won't. Oh, they won't either because the Or oh, the other the one. What's the, the little one? one? The little, the little Boeing one. The, the, seven, eight, eight, the Dreamliner. Seven, no, they, they're long haul, dear. But BA oh. have got one of the oldest fleets in the sky, and unfortunately. Well, you can probably. With the oldest you, you, customers. Look. Yeah, look yeah. at them. I mean, to be honest, I don't normally fly BA. I fly Emirates. But, but, you know, seeing as Chris wanted to go to, you know, do this, so we went to Rome and um, business class lounge was okay. Food was mediocre there. Um, it, you know, like it's very standard baked potatoes and things. You know, you'd think that they have a bit more cooked food. Deal. The what baked that potatoes did we have? Oh yes, of course we had that. Yeah, because I yeah, said what you do is you start from the beginning of a story and you go what? through to the middle and then through to the end. Uh, Unlike you, that will start somewhere in the middle, if you jump wanna, to the end. If you want to start at the beginning, you start with the porridge. I had porridge first, and what did you have first? Bit of toast, wasn't it? Mm. Which you made me get up and go and get. No, I get didn't, me a actually. bit of toast. No, I didn't. I had I had chocolate croissants. Huh? And who were those two celebrities you saw in the lounge? Oh, there was a this model. This was a Heathrow, wasn't it? Yeah, this was a Heathrow. There was a model. Um, I can't think of her name. She always wears a collar up. She's got swished up blonde hair, and um, very pretty. But she looked very Annie Lennox. Oh, I'm smelling, aren't I? Yes, Let I didn't want to say anything. I just get some deodorant. Um, I, and I didn't know you were coming, so I just didn't have a shower this morning. So on the way on the way back, there was another celebrity. But we will talk about that on the way back from the you on the, the end of the at the end of the show. Um, yeah, the plane was a bit old and shabby. Um, Club Europe, nowhere near as good as Club World, but you know, right. you, you get what you pay for. Um, so uh, we get to Rome. Um, Is that better? Very easy flight, very easy flight. The uh, food wasn't bad. Uh, we, get, we get stopped at, um, at the airport by Customs, who picked up Chris's case for some reason and felt the weight and had a good feel. I think they thought he was a drugs mule. I mean, we all know he looks like a bit of a horse, but you know. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Are you not hot in here? I can turn the air conditioning on. No, 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 it's fine. I've got the heating on downstairs. You haven't got the heating on. I did. I flicked it on for ten oh, minutes. Half, mate. I'm turning that on. It's too hot in here. It's not too hot in here. It's it's cold. I've it's got my jacket lights. on. It's all the lights and the stuff in here. I get very hot in that room. Dude. Yeah. It's so tight fisted. It's unbelievable. So I come round, it's actually quite cold outside, I think it's about 8 degrees and he still won't put the heating on. He's actually saying that because of these lights and things, he, we can't have the heating on. Anyway, um, so we gets to Rome, um, gets through the airport, gets a taxi. Now, little tip for you boys and girls, when you're in Rome, uh, take the legal cabs, which are the white ones. Don't be fooled into taking one of the ones where the guy comes up and says, you know, where you're going, uh, because there is a flat rate of, uh, of 48. 48 euro to take you to any hotel in Rome, whereas we got charged 60. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things you live and learn. It doesn't matter. The car was very, very nice, admittedly. It yes. was a new Chrysler. Um, but I've yes, told him very this, all this bit. You carry on, dear. Carry on. So... Yeah, um, I booked the Hotel Donna Camellia Civili, um, which was a beautiful 16th century uh, convent that had been converted into a hotel. And there's quite a few churches that could be made into lovely flats. Churches actually. do not need to be made into flats. They're quite nice as churches, don't you think? Not really, because they don't seem to get a lot of people in them, do they? Yes, they do. That church was packed I went to on the, on, um, on the Sunday. That was a Vatican, dear. It doesn't matter, it was still packed. <laughs> um, yes, the hotel was beautiful. Um, tea. 
T. Okay, so it was eight euro, which is about seven pounds. That's for two people in the hotel. That's, um, all right, that's all right. It was all right. Yes, it was acceptable because you got cakes. two cups. You got two cups out of the one cakes, of the cakes. You got two cups out of one of Cherries. one pot, and there was um, there was different types of cakes that they have. You know, like little little tartlets and things. Uh, very very continental. Very nice though. Did you very, tell them the name nice. of the hotel? Yes, the Donna Camellia Civilli. One of our regular listeners and viewers, Wendy, looked it up yesterday, and she thought it was beautiful. Well, it is beautiful. It was beautiful. It is beautiful. So you're not going to take calls? No, I'm not taking calls. There. No, I'm not taking no, calls. No, because it'll go <laughs> on the microphones. Put it behind you, please. It's fine. It's under my leg. You don't need to take calls for just a few minutes. Don't look at your phone. Just for an hour. I'm not going to be here an hour. Don't look at your phone. I'm not going to be here an hour. We've got lots to talk about. I haven't got lots to talk about. We have our experiences last night. Continue. Um, where was <clears> I? Oh, a couple of messages coming in. Oh, it's. So Marge in Oklahoma says hello. There you are up there. Hello, Marge. Good morning, Marge. Do you know the song Oklahoma? No. Oh, oh no, Oklahoma, it's too early for that. It's, it's too early for that. It is far too early oh. for that. Um, Sweeping down the rain where the lazy sheep. Yeah, enough. Don't know that. So, yeah. So the first day, uh, we got to the hotel. Um refreshed ourselves uh, lovely room very lovely room beautiful wooden shutters on the windows so that was the beautiful. friday the friday night wasn't it friday, friday afternoon night. friday afternoon what time did we get there then About six five, o'clock six six o'clock in the eve early evening mm. nice trip nice journey actually no yeah, problems quite easy except for being ripped off at the airport this 65 quid honestly no, well it, so we got overcharged by 10 euro does it really matter yes it does it doesn't 10 pounds it doesn't matter that's like three or four ice creams. It doesn't matter. On a holiday. That's ten pound less I was able to put in the collection plate of the Vatican, dear. You don't put you take money out of there. I it's do not you. you've, Sorry? Got, you've got the magic hand. <laughs> do you know You're so, like We used to do that at school, take money out of the collection plate. Disgusting <laughs> disgusting behaviour. Get on with it, dear. Disgusting Look behavior. at that. Seven million. Anyway, carry on. Seven people. <laughs> and is that including us? <laughs> no. It must be. Get on with it, dear. Get on with it. It must be. Come on, get on with it. No, no, you you have a go now. Go on. Oh, we've got a message here. Remind Ron it's Yom Kippur, and he shouldn't be eating and drinking for 25 oh. hours. Oh, yes. Maury. Oh. Here he is, the man that's always going on about being Jewish. It's, what is it? Uh, Yom, Ron Yom Kippur. Y Yom, Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. Uh, yes, it very well may be Yom Kippur, but as I'm not a fully practising Jew... Ah... Uh. Uh -huh. I just don't believe in the Jesus part. So it really, it, oh, did you? Does the Jews believe in Jesus? No, they don't. Well, you said you're not a fully practicing Jew because you don't believe in Jesus, but Jews don't believe in Jesus. That's what I said. I don't. I don't believe in the Jesus part. What you lot go on about? Well, that's Christianity. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what you're going on about, dear. Oh, look! Look, playing with your phone. No, that's I'm just turning phone. off because it was noisy. Because that means a message has come in from Marge. Um, was the Pope there? Oh, I like Ron's mohawk haircut. It's not mohawk. Well, it's not really mohawk. It's, it's swish. Just, it, it looks like that today. It's if you put swish. it forward, there's nothing sticking up. Just go forward a little bit. A little bit more. Look, oh, it's going there as well. It's not going. <laughs> no, my hair is not going. My hair is not going. Uh, no, um, he wasn't there. But he doesn't he look like... What's that comedian oh yes jim bowen jim bowen oh uh, it's so funny bullseye yeah i was uh, i was, I, was I, kept through, the... I kept asking people why is jim bowen on these posters yeah. and pictures i went in the vatican and i saw dart boards everywhere Did i think you? he has a game of darts in there i hear there's a sauna in there as well i don't know about that get on with it no go on dear where were we i don't know you was wittering on about something no you you got to you got to the uh, friday night so no, carry yeah, on so i've told the... this i've only told like up to sunday oh but you That's tell like it in half. your way because it's like a different story. Uh, like would you rather have a thousand idiots watching or seven quality good people watching like those who are faithful followers? Uh, so there you are. Oh, we got a phone who call. Who said this? We got a phone call. <laughs> good morning. Who's calling? It's Cordelia. Chris. Cordelia, how are you, darling? All right. Um, fine, thank you. Just to thank you about um all your videos you've been putting up on Facebook recently with you and Ronnie and your trips to Rome. It was most um fun for me actually. Did you enjoy it? Did it. you? I loved everyone. You two make a great double act. It's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Do you know the efforts I have sometimes? Because people, when we've done very... We've only done about two or three together, haven't we? Really? Thank God. Outside and that. 
And um, usually, Cordelia, where are you again, darling? Yorkshire somewhere, isn't it? Castle, yeah, you found this Mike Cullen. Eh? Mike Cullen, I'm with Mike Cullen. I don't know, I can't remember exactly where you are in the world. Up north. Yeah, Newcastle. Well, Newcastle. Really, oh. but, yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Oh, because oh. I've been watching that programme. Um, Geordie Shaw. Uh, no, no, there's a shopping thing on BBC Three. Oh, the Metro Centre. That's the one, yeah. yeah. Do you know yeah. those people? <laughs> No, because I work in McDonald's, which is the other side of uh, the retail park, so I don't know any of them. To be oh, honest. you don't work in the Metro Centre? No, I, do work, I sort of work, well, well Metro Centre is there, sort of thing. Right. And then where I work is across the road, so to speak. <laughs> so, you stop laughing, then. <laughs> Tell him to shut well, up for five minutes. Like shut up, Mike, we're talking to, your, your, shut up. talking to your girlfriend. Shut your mouth for five minutes. Still. Christ's sake. Oh, oh, these radio people told, get my nerves, Cordy. Like Chris Ridd and Lyons. Oh, is he a radio oh, person oh, then? Oh. Well, yes. These radio people what? get on my nerves, Cordelia. They keep interrupting all the blooming time. Yeah. It's terrible, isn't it? It's worse. <laughs> but I've, I've genetically got that because I'm Jewish as well, so I basically we've got that interruption oh, the, and that kind it, of like fast talking it, thing, so, you know. Can you see your screen from there, or have you had to turn it off while I'm doing the Skype? Yes, I can see you. Okay, I'm on my um, iPhone five. I want to show your Frozen, Ron's got okay. a really Ron's got a really good tattoo. See if you can see if you can see this. Do you want to get your tattoo I out? I think we've frozen at the moment on uh, YouTube. Oh, have you? At the moment, yeah. Oh, the okay. Well, we're, we're, we'll show you after I've, I'll show you after I finish the the t the um. Uh, the call, and then you can uh, yeah. send an well, email. Well, I'm actually on the iPhone 5 doing sort of a direct call, not via Skype though. I'm doing it on my um, iPhone. So. You're on iPhone 5? Yes, I am. And I'm you're watching a picture? In the money now because I'm working, so. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> not, on the, not on the dole anymore. So oh, well, that's that. good. That's good. Never it's let anyone tell you that, that any sort of job is, is like, you know, lower than something. Right? You have a job, and that's all there is to it. I often have. Yeah, um, Young people yeah. coming up to me telling me they've got a job in a restaurant collecting glasses or something like that, and they they think it's quite mm. low down. A restaurant cannot run without people collecting glasses. McDonald's mm. cannot run without people cleaning or doing burgers and things. You do a very yeah. important job, my darling. Never ever forget that. Well, McDonald's mm. would I'd probably go well, under if there were people service. cooking burgers. Would you like burgers, to speak to Mr. Cullen or? or hey. what? You're gonna get really. Oh, he's getting ready. He's bottled out now. He's just running away now. Getting <laughs> ready for what? Away. I do, I do, for the day, you speak, when you get ready and you come and speak to Chris, then yeah? Yes. What is he doing? What is he getting ready? What is there to get ready for? Um, just Mike getting ready, that's just Mike. For what? <laughs> Mike getting ready. Does he, really. Is he putting makeup on? I bet he's putting makeup on. Probably. Yeah, no, he the, my a lot foundation of the... again, Chris. He's terrible for that. Really terrible for a lot. A lot of these life. straight lads, they do all. The, they pretend to be all hard and macho. They're in the toilet most of the time doing their makeup and all that business exactly. and cutting nails. When and he's got bags under his eyes, he, he, he um, follows my uh, makeup, don't you, Mike? <laughs> 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 Mike, I think there's suitcases <laughs> at the minute because he's had a few late nights. Yeah, well, yeah, he's had a few late nights working on the internet radio with his friends and that. So. Did Did you see the last video we done on the um? What night did we come back? Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Um, you were bugging your case like a yeah. small child across the patio or whatever it was. Yeah. And then I bumped into that bloke yeah. and I disappeared alone in the darkness. Left that alone once again, Cordelia. That was terrible. That oh, was terrible. What a shame. We dropped off like a piece of used whatever and that's it. And left yeah, I was just like a, used like a used person. I really you was. You were going to say something else there. I wasn't going to say yeah, nothing yeah, else at was. all. Your no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. You filth. stopped yourself and I stopped myself as well, so I know where you're coming from. <laughs> 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 well, we're glad you enjoyed the shows, aren't we? We're glad about that. They're only little oh, snippets. Calling it off in here. No, it's nice. Don't put that air conditioning on. Are you seriously on. cold? Yeah. Cold, yes. It's you, the man with the heart of ice. God, it's so hot. Mm. What do you mean, heart of Did ice? Did Ronnie write the complaint yet? I treat people very well when I go out with them. Last one was 13 <laughs> years ago. Yeah, but the house is cold. It's cold in London. Look how well I treated you when I went it's, out with you. 20, oh, we don't even, 20 how long? Let's not go down 22 that road. 22 years. <laughs> let's not go down that road. Oh, nine. Hang on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 24. Sausage got, fingers. About 22 years ago. He says I've got sausage fingers. <laughs> I haven't got sausage fingers. You have. Eh? That must have been the, oh. the highlight of your life 22 years ago when you were going out with a top London DJ. Let's not go down that road. <laughs> What is she oh laughing? God. What, what are you laughing at? Have you got a funny cartoon on or something? 
No, I'm laughing at you too. I just find you hilarious. That's all. <laughs> oh, look, we have I a question. Find you hilarious. Question it's a good laugh. When you have this, you have a oh. day. See what Chris is doing, and you'll be oh, laughing. Hang on a minute, Ron. Ron has worked something out. Okay, so he's he's spotted where the messages come up. So yeah, get that's on with easy. it. I can see it. it's on my right. Well hand done. Side. Oh look, she's writing something <laughs> else now. Oh no, she's not gone. Oh, Go. what do I do for a living? I'm a I'm a jet set, aren't I? He's a jet set. I'm a jet set. I fly off around the world and go to <laughs> fabulous nothing. places. Nothing. How mm. dare you? Nothing. The parents are filthy Chris. rich, and that's how he lives, basically. <laughs> Chris, huh? have you wrote his letter yet? What did she say? What did you say? Have you wrote to... your letter yet? For, for to BA, is it? The letter? letter about the lounge. Yeah. Oh no, I'm still compiling that letter. It's going to oh. be about thirty-eight pages long. God. Oh, just 38? Is that yeah. all? Oh, right, okay. No. It's so hot in here. It's not so hot in here. I'll have to turn some lights on. I want to see you then. Uh. Might be an improvement. <laughs> so, um, yes, what do you do for a living? What's your answer to that? I'm an international jet set. International oh, jet set. Oh, me. International mm. jet set. I couldn't do that. I, I have to be working all the time, Cordelia. I'm a, a bit of a workaholic. I've always been like that, really, since I worked for, um, well, since I started work at 16. And I yeah. worked in a shop. That was uh, when there was no electricity and gas. <laughs> and there used to be oh, frost on the inside of the It was, it was the all windows. like the guy, the guy went around with those um, torches, didn't he? Lighting the lamps and stuff and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we have electricity down here in London, love. Don't stop being racist you know, to the to people. Don't stop being racist to the people up north. I don't miss London at all, really, to be honest. Did you live in London? Me, I'm originally from Allgate originally. Oh my, that's just oh, around that's the corner from where, now. That's just around the corner wow. from where my where my family come from. My great great grandmother so had a shop on uh, a sweet shop on Underwood Road. Oh gosh, that's not far from. That's like Whitechapel, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's correct. It's right bang in the middle of Whitechapel, actually, dear. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? I it's worked on the Milan Road. Mm. It's all changed now. What, it's put, all, um, putting the tarmac down. Pretty, pretty. They've made it all pretty now and everything. Putting the tarmac down when they were building the road. <laughs> yeah. I worked on the Mile End Road. Um, uh, What's going on? That's you moving your bloody feet what everywhere. Is, is, well, what am I supposed <laughs> to sit? What, what are you. Uh, look, you're caught up now. Oh, oh there's wires everywhere. There's wires everywhere. It's not the bloody BBC, is it? Is that all right now? <sighs> There you are, that's better. Oh dear, He can't again. sit still. <laughs> Mind you, my sister's the worst one. She cannot sit still to take a picture or anything. It's terrible. Yeah, look, so another question me. for you. I fidget too much. Does I'm like, drive a motorcycle? It's a very random question. No, I don't. I drive a BMW. <laughs> Sorry, dear, to interrupt you there. Come that's on, That's all next. right, not used to it. <laughs> all right, Cordelia, lovely to talk to you, darling. Okay, then I'll speak to you again soon, Is this yeah? the first time we've spoken? I think it is, isn't it? Oh, can't remember. <laughs> My brain just goes. <laughs> Not to worry, Getting darling. Old. Good luck. Bye bye, Cordelia. Bye bye, Chris. Nice oh. talking to you. All right, bye. tell her, my darling. Bye. Oh, how nice. How lovely to talk to Cordelia like that, dear. Right, now, let me just put the um, number up. If you'd like to join in at any time, boys and girls, uh, we do have a phone number and Skype as well. Now, you obviously need to be listening and watching uh, live. Oh, it's up there already. It's up there already, isn't it? Wouldn't it be funny if somebody was trying to call tomorrow? No, because I'm going to tell them now. Yeah, but I know, but some people yes. are, are that, you know, you know yeah, those people that bring do. those 0906 what, numbers. What we need is something at the bottom that flashes up saying, do not call, this is a recording, like they do on QVC. Yeah, but you know, you know, you know QVC. The, 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 those silly people that, that ring up the 0898 numbers for X factor and all that rubbish yes yeah i don't read i don't do any, i don't do anything like that oh, i don't i don't watch all that crap x factor what right of rubbish. um so if you're watching this show live have a quick look at your clock okay it's coming up to 25 past 12 on saturday the 14th of september 2013 if that's the time where you are now while you're watching the show then you are indeed with us live and you can join in live three ways to do it either by email chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk uh, there is skype okay just add me as a skype friend my skype username is all one word chris reardon c-h-r-i-s-r-e-a-r-d-o-n C H R I S R E A R D O N. Okay, that's a Skype username. Or by local London number. We have a local London phone number. It is not a premium rate number, it is a local London number. And the phone number is 020 8133 
6358 020 8133 6358 now, now can I ask you does that cost money? No uh, it's a local call. Yeah yeah but does it cost money to, for you to have it? Yes. Now that's now yes. you see an interest yes. becomes a hobby when it costs you money so this is Hobby Radio. It's not Hobby Radio. <laughs> oh what's this? What's this now? An unknown PC or device has been detected. Oh. Is that your mobile phone? It probably could be. Oh. Why don't you open the network map and have a look? Oh, how does that, what does that then? There we go. Computer one. Where's the other item We'll then? just click it across. Oh, is it? Oh, what's that there? Online, there's something online oh, there. that is your, that's a what's box. That? That's, that could be your box downstairs or your Apple TV. So maybe the Apple TV's yeah, on for some thi- reason. Two things, two things. Oh. Oh, they're okay. I'm sure they're all right. I'm sure they're Someone okay. might be hacking into... Ha- and be hacked into it. Be hacked, hacked in hacked. to try and close you down. A couple of more questions here. Um, again from uh, Marge. I did... Oh, she did Ancestry on my family, and I have a Lord and Lady Phelps. Phelps in my background. That oh. rings a bell, Phelps. You're, you're, you're thinking of Vanessa. Oh, yes. No, that's Phelps. Same that's thing. the fat bird from BBC London, isn't it? You know she's going to be on Strictly Come Dancing. I know. I saw it. Sorry, I saw it. <laughs> Talking of Strictly Come Dancing, guess yes. who we saw when we was at the airport? Do you remember? Oh. Nancy um, Delario. No, we haven't she's got, to, the, you haven't got to that bit yet. I know, but she's fabulous. Oh, you've given them the icing the before shoes. they've had the cake. The shoes. You've given them the icing no, before they had the cake. No, that's just a little taster, because there's more to that. Oh, I Well... Just read that message because I find that difficult to read that message what on message? there now. Hi, Chris. Simon from the Isle of Wight. That Ron is a good looking guy. Can you move to the Isle of Wight? Uh, uh, I bet your nose is casting a shadow. Can you move to the right? What, my nose? Oh, your so, nose casts a shadow across, across half the <laughs> earth, besides <laughs> your bloody nose. <laughs> Yeah, Good morning, Shania. Morning, Shania. Shania's with us. That's oh, is that Shania. Miss Twain? That sh- no, not Shania Twain. Oh. That's Shania still. She's on the Izzily Widget. Izzily Widget. I love White. I went there when I was a child. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? Oh, well, they, yeah, it was a long time ago, but not as long as yours when they still have rowing boats to get across. <laughs> and Queen Victoria was still living there. Thank you. Thank you. Now, um, I did see another little message here from someone where's that gone there oh sean there we are sean young sean let's see he's a mobile dj there you go mobile dj chris giving your voice a rest chris Ooh, well we yeah we have to when he's when he's we wish right here. that uh, would be marvelous says, if he did is there more room for your best friend little young sean riches you need a bigger studio is sean he's a dj that's a very old picture of him when he's like 10 years I was old say, he looks about 10 show. there and he does um mobile discos look there's his van oh he's got a land rover oh i know you must be making a lot of money sean or are your parents rich to have bought you a land rover look at that oh he's got a baby elephant as well no, no, that's just a news story has you got a baby elephant newborn elephant weeps after being parted from mother who tried to kill him oh that's terribly oh, sad we must adopt an elephant You've got five cats, haven't you? No, um, well, actually, I've got... I've, 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 I've nearly got eight. Uh, how's it eight? Well, there's there's mine, Ralph Lauren, uh, Louis Vuitton and Maddie. Yes. And then there's Fluff that comes to visit. Oh, yeah, Fluff. Felix. Felix. And they're, the big, they're, they're visitor cats. They're, they're, they're visitors. They just turn in. up and eat. And then there's the big tabby one that comes up now, so that's eight. You love I haven't that. Named, I haven't named the, the tabby one yet. And I, I, I believe... Don't know what, well, Sh- no, no, no. no. We're not not sure. Oh, is no. it not going to happen? No. Oh, I'm no, it all went, it all went pear-shaped. What happened then? Did I you have a row with the person who owned you? N- uh, no. What happened? No, I'll tell you about it after. Oh, OK. It's oh, not for on air. Disappointing. He was going to get another cat, which was a snow leopard. It looked like a snow leopard. It looked like a snow leopard. How beautiful. Anyway, back to the story of Italy. So far, you've got to the bit where where we've just got there. Well, you said you've done this. Let's yeah. Get, let's just... I told him about that I nicked the big bed. Well, no, you didn't. You, I mean, the, the, the smaller bed was, it was perfectly comfortable. Yeah. Um, and it was, it was out of the direction of you with your wind problem, shall we say. I had no wind problem on the holiday but you normally at all, do. Though. Normally you snore. And yeah, but fart. I didn't, didn't on the holiday, did I? No, luckily. Right, okay. So then we went out for a meal. I told him about the restaurants either side and the cars coming down the middle. Well, it wasn't just that one. There, there's not just one street. There's it, there's a whole area devoted to eating and drinking, and and it's just all cobbled streets where people sit outside, they drink, bella bella, bella you know, bella, and you know they eat and they sit there for hours. You're not rushed, and you just sit there and just and it's nice. It was just it really nice. really nice. Mm. Yeah, 
um we then i was we was then going to go out we was going to go out for the evening wasn't we and we had a, a difference of opinion and chris went one way and he's oh that's what self. we got lost we got lost well it doesn't we? matter okay so let me ask let me I ask these this seven bit. people a I question seven Excuse me, Seven. eight now. Oh, eight, eight people. Eight, eight, eight people. That's a million. Eight million. No, it's not. It's just eight. So you're away on holiday. You're in a beautiful city, a very small city, uh, where you can pretty much find your way around quite easily because there's a river flowing you through the middle. <laughs> you got lost. So there's a river flowing through the middle of it. There are um, iconic places dotted around. So you find one of those and you can get to the river, like the Colosseum, the Vatican, blah, blah, blah. And you're walking around. It's a beautiful evening. It's 25 degrees at night. It was a very nice And evening. it's a beautiful evening. And does it really matter if you get lost? If does it matter... Yes, yes. Sure, no, 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 I'm not asking you. I'm asking the seven, eight people. Eight if million. You're, if you are on holiday and you're walking around a beautiful city that is safe, there are people around, there's things to look at, does it really matter if you get a little bit lost? You're never more than half an hour's walk away from the hotel. You're never more than 20 minutes away from the river. So does it really matter if you get lost and see things that you wouldn't normally see? That's my question. Because for me, that's all part of being on holiday is exploring and finding and walking around and seeing things that you don't normally see it doesn't really matter getting lost but somebody with issues thinks that you need to stay in the hotel when you're away and not do and see things it's just you know you need to experience i'll leave it there for the quest for the answers to come in but what if we never find our way back again but you but it's easy you, you can i get very scared when i'm lost it's always been like that it's awful, awful. Well, it's, it's awful. It's, it's, it's pathetic. I'm 20 years older, but I just get lost everywhere. I'm absolutely ruined without a sat-nav. I could not find my way anywhere well, without it's wrong. a sat-nav. You, you really should stop going on What are you going to do when you take Jimmy on holiday, then? You're going to sit in the bloody hotel with Jimmy him Jimmy Butler. Time. Oh, which reminds me. No, no, no. I've worked that out now. I spoke to a very good friend of mine. And you're going to have a guide? No, not having a guide. We will get a shuttle from the... From the... Ep from the airport to the hotel, right? A shuttle? There are free shuttles from the hotel to Disney. Awful. Okay? Which is at least four or five days. That's public transport. Shut up. And anything else, we'll just get a cab. That's oh, but it. you wouldn't do that in Rome? No. The distances in Orlando are quite long. Well, as Thank well, you. you've just answered your own question because your, your own issue is the distances what? in Rome were very, very short, so it yes. doesn't matter how far you walk, you can never be too far away. At the end of the day, you're wrong and I'm right. The eight Stop people. Stop twisting things all the time. I'm not twisting dear. things. You do. I'm not at all. Twisting, twisting, There's twisting. There's police everywhere, you know, they, they, they've always got a road blocked off there somewhere, as we saw. You know, there's always people about, you know, you, and. Oh, you've got a map in your hand and you say to people, Well, you River. couldn't read it. You couldn't read doesn't it. doesn't matter. I didn't, I didn't say that I could read a map. Every five minutes you had this blooming map out as we were crossing... Oh, and the roads. Crossing the roads. Well, we learnt that, though, didn't we? We learnt how to cross the roads. It's you. You're just, you're just, you're just a bit... Just not a holiday person, perhaps? No, you're just a bit weird. What do you mean, weird? Well, you can't say that you're not a holiday person because you go away, but then, like, when you went to New York, what did you do? You went to Starbucks and back, didn't you? Oh, I went to Starbucks. I look at it was too cold to come out of the hotel. I stayed in my hotel most of the time, I think. But then again, I know I did a go on a couple of little journeys with my good friend Suko in New yeah, York. Yeah, but she, I mean, you should once be able I was to with Suko, once I was with Suko, I was fine, no problem at all. I wasn't lost, and I and that was fine. But yes, I I still got lost in New York. No. I, I, I don't I, I don't agree with it. I mean, I've been all over the world. Well, there there we are and different like that, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. You know, but, I'm just, but when we went to when we went to Las Vegas, you are, I made you come out you and do are, stuff, and you, you enjoyed are, it. You are a traveller. You love it. You love. You can't wait for the next holiday. Sorry, world traveller. Whereas me, I go away within a day. I'm looking forward to coming back to my little home again. And it's only a little, little, little decrepit little home that I live in. Squalor. It's a little like a witch's house. Squalor. Like a witch's house, which is suitable for you, really. Marge wants to know. Ron, I get scared away from home when I get lost because I start thinking of being abducted or robbed and not being able to find help. This is me. This is me. Read this. It's not fun if you have anxiety when feeling lost that way. I can understand how Chris feels. That is exactly how I feel. And it's all very well you saying, don't worry. Look at it and as an adventure. Right? It's all very well saying that. 
actually making that work inside my head is another thing altogether. Then why go away? You don't understand why I sit here all the time and do this. This. Why, why don't you? Go, why don't you go away? What do you mean? Why, why, do, why do you go away then? Why do I go away? I force myself to go away. Well, you shouldn't. Because people keep saying, "Oh, you need a holiday." But then you know that you don't need a holiday if it's going to stress you out. So just say no. And to see Barry Manilow, of course. Oh. You have to go away to see Barry, dear. 174 years old. It's, it's not Barry Manilow. He's not 174 years old. Isn't he? I'm sure no. he is. Right, get on with it then. Carry no, 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 you carry on, on for a minute now. I'm, I'm just trying to, to work, trying to work out where you are on that thing because your voice goes up and down like anything. So you've got to keep the same distance in the microphone all the time, dear. I've I am, I am the same distance. Have I down, moved? Up and down. Up and down. Tell You're us, the one who keeps going like this. Sunday. Tell us about the Sunday. The Sunday. Uh, no, we haven't even been through Saturday. Okay, do the Saturday. Um, what did we do on Saturday? Can you remember? No, I can't. Uh, hang on a minute. This might be on my bits of paper here. Saturday, we walked up to the Vatican. We walked to the Vatican, yeah. and it was the lady with the wobbly sticks. Oh, them people! And then that one that got you, that done you, and you gave one of those Romanian gypsies. To yeah, but she, you know, uh, you know, uh, at the end of the day, she was laying on the floor. <laughs> she did <laughs> look <laughs> very <laughs> needy, you know, and uh, a, a, a wash of a wash of sympathy rolled over me because I was outside the Vatican, and she had a picture of oh, a picture of somebody on a not Jim Bowen, some some saint or something in front of her begging on the floor and I couldn't you know I felt very sorry for her you know and I was taken aback when I saw her 10 minutes later walking up the street with a crutch in her hand a cr as in a walking crutch not her personal crutch and <laughs> you know and okay so so I was so I was ripped off but it teaches you a lesson at the end of the day you know at we least, at least later, I, 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 yeah at least I'd done the right thing I know that I'd done the right thing by giving her a euro at the end of the day you know it did it made me feel a whole lot better doing it. You have to excuse me, I'm quite tired. I know you're quite tired. I used to get there like in the yeah. afternoon. I still do now. Yeah. Mind you, it's your age with you, Thank isn't you. it? Oh, possibly. Yeah. But as I'm ten years older than you. But the, yet, the Vatican... Don't look it. Look, I look younger. Isn't that funny? You don't. Oh, the Vatican funny. is a, a very, very, very beautiful building. Very beautiful. It would make a lovely block of flats. It will never make a block of flats. Well, you never know. The rel religious centre of Catholicism. Thank you. Hmm. Saturday afternoon, so we did that. Saturday, uh, did we have a sleep Saturday afternoon? Yeah, we did. Remember. And then Saturday night we had something to eat. Yeah, we were out to eat again, and um, I, I, I was going to, I was going to go out, wasn't I? And then, I, then, then we decided not we to. We didn't go in the end, didn't we? No, I think we just walked around again. It's remember. such a beautiful place to walk mm. around at night because the weather was beautiful, and it's just there's so much to see. The cobbled streets and the little, the, the little squares with the beautiful fountains in the middle. You know, I can't. The, the only thing with Rome that I was extremely disappointed with was the graffiti. Oh yes, it's The everywhere. graffiti was awful and uh, you know, I, I don't like litter and I don't like graffiti and the graffiti was horrendous. You know, you had people's beautiful, beautiful like 10 foot front doors in wood with a small door that you open covered in graffiti and it was awful it was absolutely awful. I wasn't impressed with that. You know, they, they need to combat that more but then better graffiti than murder. Oh yeah. You know, the, the, the young people were very Mind well you saying behaved. that, there's a few people that I'd like murdered, but. Oh, who's that then? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't say that on air. Okay. And the bridge, we went on the bridge of many people. The bridge of many people, I the call bridge that. Of, yeah. Every time we went on this bridge at night time, well, no, only on the Friday and Saturday, there's a particular bridge um, that goes over the river. Do you remember the name of the river? It beginning with T, didn't it? I don't know, but it was absolutely rotten. What, the bridge? The, the water. Oh, the, the, the river was, yeah. Filthy, dirty river. I mean, you know, we as the, we as English, we adhere to these European, and I say that through gritted teeth, European rules <laughs> to the T. Absolutely adhere to them about you know climate change and keeping things clean and beaches, etc., etc. And yet the rest of Europe don't, and nothing happens. I don't understand. I don't understand how that can be. Um, you know that you know, and we pour money into that bottomless pit of Europe bottomless pit dear. yeah awful uh, anyway yeah so the river was disgusting but the bridges are beautiful I mean it is a, it is a, a city steeped in history and architecture art um, fashion you know design something Chris knows absolutely I've got nothing a nice fashionable about. shout on today I hope you don't mind me saying so look what's it called Timberland you helped me choose this you can't say this is not fashionable Thank you. You're not fashionable. There's a difference between the clothes being fashionable and you not being fashionable. I am fashionable. 
Thank you. Continue your turn. Oh, no, that was Saturday. So yeah. Sunday, um, that's, that's, that's as far as I've got, I think. Let me just check my little notes here. Don't you have an iPad you could do that on? Eh? No, just no, not iPads. This is the you know, like on the BBC. No, I don't have an iPad. For immediate broadcast. No, I don't. Oh, yeah. The um, the studio, as the camera swings around, I, I can only dream of one day having something like that. All these I mean, I mean your, 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 your camera, which is cable tied to a cassette. What do you mean, cable tied to a cassette? <laughs> <laughs> You could actually pull that off and just go across these two screens. It'll be it'll be like a snippet of the BBC. Well, um, so Sunday, I went to Mass early. You didn't get up early enough, did you? I don't understand why you were so tired, or did you just not want to go? I, I didn't. I, I just oh, I was so tired. By the way, can you show your? Um, oh, no, I, I've just seen. I've just seen. I've just seen a message from oh, yes. from uh, from Anne Marge. Uh, Ronnie is wearing graffiti tattoos. No, graffiti uh, uh, tattoos are not graffiti. Tattoos are body art. There's a difference, um, and and the, all of these tattoos actually mean something. So um, can you show them not, again? Show them the not, tattoos because um, uh, what's the name again? Cordelia wants to see. See, there it is. Is that it? Says Hebrew, isn't it? What no, does it, it doesn't say Hebrew. It says angel. In in, he in Hebrew, it in says Hebrew. angel. Okay. So yeah, so it's 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 body art. There's a difference. There is there is a huge difference to scrawling somebody's tag name on a on a beautiful art uh, building rather than having something that's tattooed onto you. Fair enough. Thank you. Okay. So Sunday I went to mass. Um, I slept in. It was beautiful. There was no Chris Reard and making loads of noise and smelling. I didn't smell on that one. I holiday. know, it's quite strange that you didn't smell. I, I made don't know sure what I had two showers because you keep moaning all the time that I smell. I don't mind. I had two showers, had two, three, three showers on one day I had because it was so hot. Mm. And that's the one thing that I think the, the heat really hit me quite hard. Yeah. I don't know why because it was hotter still in Vegas. Mm. Um, but I never got anywhere near as tired as I did in Italy. No. don't know why that was. Age. Really? What? Just a, it's only a couple of years. Yeah, but it's a couple Are of years. Are you saying down in your In your. In your short lifespan that you've got left, the winter of your life. Are you saying that I, I'm days going, are like months, months are like years? Are you saying I'm going down very quickly then? Yes. Is that what's going, was that you need what's surgery. I keep telling surgery. you. Surgery. Don't need any surgery at all. Not having any surgery. Look, Mike says that's because it wasn't. Des was it? it was it? That's because it wasn't designer graffiti, Ronnie. Uh, no, it's not that. It, 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 there's there's no such thing as designer graffiti. You have graffiti art like um, oh, what's his name now? The, the what's that painting I've got in my hallway? Um, Leonardo da Vinci. No, he's a painter. Michelangelo. No, he's a, he's he's a famous graffiti artist. Francis Bacon. No, um, there's him. Yeah, there is William that. There is that kind. But you know, Enid tagging. Blatton. There's there's a there's a diff, there's, graffiti is tagging and and just writing stupid things and abusive messages. Then you then you do have a you know the new art of of uh, graffiti. What's his name? The the one that oh god, I can't think of his Does name. Does it begin with B? No. Bark. No. Mozart. No, that's music. Um, oh, what's his name? This no, very famous, very famous graffiti artist. Does lots of things around London, and nobody knows who he really is. Barry Manilow. No, what's his name? I can't think of his name. Anyway, I've got a couple of. I've got a picture of his in my house. Banksy. Uh, Banksy. That's it. Banksy. Yeah, that is that is designer graffiti. Um, that is that is an artist. But the graffiti I'm talking about is 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 not was in Rome. Wasn't designer. It was just tags and just swearing and you know just general you know awfulness. So, but this, this is this is a designer. This is designer body art. Yeah, in a way. And it's Hebrew. And what does it say? Angel, Malik. angel. So yes. Just call me angel. But stop of the, the singing. Da, da, da. Okay, where are we? So where do we get to? Look, you're tripping oh. over my wire again. Oh well, look, it's a bit difficult not to move. Come back. Oh, what are you doing now? It's you. It's not me. It is you. It's not. Now it's come you. back. Come back a minute. Come back a minute. Uh, it's gone very tinny. Yeah, that's because you've moved something. I haven't moved anything. I'll move that round there like that. There we are. You've got oh. too, you're getting too close all the time. Oh, shall I sit back you're here? I'm not used to being on television. That's it's not, I'm, not, I'm not used to being in such really a confined right. space. It's like being in economy, from what <laughs> I've seen on videos. Now, you're t now you've moved right back. Sit up straight. Look. So, um, so I went to Sunday Mass. When I come out of Mass, I was supposed to come straight back to the hotel for you. But there was a, s a sea of people. 
I've never seen so many people all standing in St. Peter's Square. So I thought, well, there must yeah. be something going on it. I couldn't get you through. You can only dream of listeners oh. of that numbers. Couldn't get through. Come a bit closer, dude. Uh, I'm comfortable now. Well, you're... Oh, I'll have to move that now, then, won't I? Oh, God, you're so awkward, aren't you? You really are. You can't sit 200 miles away from these things, dear, because it sound all echoey. I'll try and teach you. You're not Why do you want to teach me? I just, I, I've, to I've been here for 40 minutes longer than I wanted to be. You're not used to sitting in television studios with oh, this yeah, sort I've of been, equipment. I've been, on, tele I've been on television two or three times. On? There was um, the gay blind date, which was very, very funny. Uh, I date my mate. That. I've got the video. I've got the video somewhere. Oh, we'll, we'll dig that out. I'll come yeah. around later. What was really that. funny was I, I, it, what was really funny was I made demands. I want a car to come and pick me up. I was the only one of the contestants that got a car to come and pick them up, take them to the BBC. I then drank the budget, which was really, really funny, and made them get me a car home. Did you go on there drunk? Yeah, of course I did. <gasps> That's shocking. That is, dear. It was very funny. It was very, very funny. And on the on the on the um, on the gay di blind date one. Yes. Um, the the boy that I. The, what was he like? Oh, he was a South African hook uh, porn star. Oh. Oh, and God what was the worst sake. thing? What did they do? They showed a clip of him in a porn film, and his parents were oh, sitting in the audience. God's sake. Yeah, we went to the we got taken to the Ivy. For well, that. that's a lovely job in that being in a porn film. I think that's awful. Yeah. How and yeah. people are proud of that. How can you be proud of being in a porn film? I don't know. <sighs> anyway, don't know. continue. Um, so, Sunday, it come out of mass, there was a sea of people, and I thought, well, it must be something. Look, look how far down you're sitting now. I'm comfortable, though. Well, it doesn't matter. Don't, no, it's not about your comfort. It's about how you... But they can see me. Oh, it's fine. Just um, hear me a big nose. I thought there must be something going on there, so I asked around, and it was indeed the Pope Jim, was coming out. Jim Bowen was giving the out Pope, autographs. Pope Francis was coming out and coming to his little window at 12 o'clock and doing the Angelus, which is a Catholic prayer that you're supposed to say every day at 12 o'clock. And um, I thought, well, I'll move further forward, and it was really difficult to move. There were so many people there, um, very difficult to move. However, this big bloke come from behind me and wanted to get through. So he started moving and I just followed him, so I got a bit further forward. Unfortunately, all I really got to see of the Pope was a hand. Because it was that it, it's only it's only a narrow window. I didn't tell you this, did I? It's only a very narrow window, and I, I was kind of to the right of it, and all I could see was was his hand kind of leaning. But his voice was booming out of the speakers and when he came on. It's a bit like coming to a Manilow concert. The crowd went mad, although he didn't sing any of the songs. Mm. Very disappointed. Um and his voice boomed out, the crowd went mad, and it all went quiet while we did this prayer. And it was all very nice. Mm. And then I walked along, um, back along the river, and got to the uh, hotel room. Do you remember what we... Then we had a cup of tea, didn't we? Yes. We had a cup of tea in the, um, in the, um, in the sort of hallway. Where did we go Saturday afternoon? Sunday oh, is that afternoon. When you, Sunday afternoon. Is that when you had your beard cut? No, it can't have been the Sunday. Oh, it must have been. Yeah. Was it Sunday? You no, went Saturday this, I had my beard done. Saturday. Went to this little Italian um, barber's and had his beard done. And I didn't have anything done. But there were two, these two old boys, they were. And they were, they must have been um, almost 70 years old, wouldn't you say? They were about 65, 70 years old, these if two old older. boys, weren't they? Really nice old chaps. Neither of them could speak a word of English, um, but it didn't matter, and he sort of just pointed out what he wanted done, and he'd done all his beard really nice, hadn't he? Yeah, and then we, we actually went back, it was that good. We went back on the Tuesday, um, and I, that's when I had my hair cut. And hair? Hairs? Well, I mean, I, I, I tried to explain to him I wanted a 0 0.5 all over but i think he gave me a zero but it doesn't matter it it, it was the it was um, the ambiance in there you know the, the actual yeah. the actual shop itself looked like it hadn't been updated since the 50s yeah it did i mean and it was you know and it was just two old boys standing there cutting hair and and shaving people all day and they've probably done that for 60 years yeah. of their life yeah. and they knew exactly what they was doing you know it was it was the same as you see like the 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 uh, the, the african-americans you know weaving each other's hair in america uh, you know in them shops where they stand around talking it's exactly the same as this place in rome with yeah. two old italian boys chatting away to their customers obviously to the ones that could speak italian because they couldn't speak english which i think is very bad why don't Europe speak English. They don't need to spell 
know they don't have to speak English. Well, they should we, we are the ones no. who are ignorant. We should learn no, a few other languages as well. Actually, most of them spoke a little bit of English. I think it was just... Certainly the younger people did, didn't they? Well, of course, um, yeah. The, well, they, 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 most the of them probably don't get an education, don't they? Yeah. So I had my hair cut with a number zero and I had for the first time ever one of those cutthroat shaves um, and it was really good you, you, you just don't feel this blade going over your face it's a bit scary really because you know it's razor sharp obviously and he just done all my bed and I was I was I was in that chair about 25 minutes mm. and he only charged us 11 quid I, got, I think I yeah. gave him 15 in the end yeah. A uh, little tip as well, which they were very grateful for the tips. I don't know if they, the Italians give them chip, uh, tips. Yeah, I would have thought so. So that was that. Um, we came out of there and we ordered ice cream. They are the biggest ice creams ever in Italy. I don't know whether any of you, 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 you really eight are. people remember. Is it eight? Oh, seven. Right? Seven. Okay, uh, I don't know if any of you seven that's people. That's because you've upset someone. Quite One, recently, off quite now. recently, there was a news story about two couples that were in Rome that got charged fifty-six pounds yeah, yeah. for ice cream. Now, how I, that, now, how, how now how does well, that well, I, I, I don't know. All I know is is that. To be honest with you, yeah. we went to two or three different ice cream shops, and the ice creams are huge. I don't care what anybody says. You over here, you are. You go to a Mr. Whippy Van or whatever they are, and you get a little bit of ice cream, half a flake, and it's two and a half pounds, three pounds. So I'm not one to barter over money. I'm, no, I, 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 I like to spend. <laughs> we know that, but dear. Compared to the ice cream for a cab, dear. But compared to the ice creams in Rome, and the ice cream is better. It's they are huge, and they are probably half the price when you think when you think about the amount of ice cream that you get so you're getting yes you yes. know oh, do, yeah, do you understand definitely. what i mean definitely and um you know it's it's just you know and these people they pay 56 pounds well they must be stupid because it's nearly one euro to the pound so they must have known or they just was not clever enough to look maybe it was a mistake but i could see you can buy huge ice creams for five what, six four, four euros well no there was six euro was pots six as well, well that so that so that would have been like 20 that would yeah. have been like, like 20 24 24 20 euro mm -hmm. but it would have been absolutely huge you would have had six huge scoops not the little uh, scoops that we get what, here you said 24 euro yeah for because for, there was four people that bought oh four so, yeah for oh 56. i thought they'd ch been charged 50 quid for one ice cream no they got charged 50, oh, 50 pounds for okay. four this ice creams this was cream. a story that was in the paper a few months ago yeah and yeah. i can see how that would have happened but they would have had a huge amount of ice cream so it's rome is not that much of a ripoff yes they're in trouble yes they're trying to make money but it is very very reasonably priced the food is very reasonably priced it depends where you go i went i went into uh i went into dolce cabana i went into armani's i went into gucci you know, and obviously, you know, you know, things in there are expensive. There's a small bag that I wanted to buy, Andy. It was, it was a lot of money. It was, it was seven hundred euros for a very small, for a very small shoulder bag. But you know, you expect to pay that for those things. But food-wise and things, very, very reasonable. Mm. Very reasonable. We never got charged more than twenty-four pound for a meal, and that's for two of us. We had a, a starter. Our favourite was bruschetta, bruschetta, wasn't it? Yeah, I like bruschetta. Which is like, what is that? Well, no, I like garlic. I like the garlic bread. It was lovely. It was just oh, like it was so strong though. Yes. <gasps> delicious oh, I could smell very the good I, I, very good yeah, for you blast, very nice good for your well. heart well yes. if you have one well i have a heart you don't have a heart Heart of stone my wooden heart elvis presley do you know that one why do you have to sing all the time because people like me to sing i might burst into a, a, a manilow song any moment now have oh, you no, seen the manilow don't. picture this month by the way yes what's he got on then hey, uh, got oh on you had to look so you didn't well, really uh, see sorry it, did i you? thought we had something purple, like, green on but it's the queen isn't it what <laughs> Barry's well, picture, is next. Right. Barry's picture there. is next to the Queen, as you can see. Well, two queens together, dear. Don't you be speaking badly of our Barry. They will go mad. We have a lot of Manilow people watching this boat. Don't you ever run down. I'll I'm not running him down. I'm just saying. He's, your life he's, won't he's, be he's one of us. I'll attack him to start with. And then you'll have all the girls after you as well. My girls, who I'm going to be meeting, some in Orlando, some in Wembley, we and have some at Tunic this year. Oh, Cordy yes. Cullen, Banksy. No, Cord Cordelia. Oh, oh Cordy. No, Cordy Cullen, Cordy. Banksy. A lot of his work around his Yeah, I mean, I lived in I lived in Shoreditch for for twenty years, and there is a lot of Banksy's art around that area because it's that IT TV fashion area. Um, and 
tattoo is a tattoo mm. graffiti no well it depends i don't think it is t- uh, t- tattoos are body art and the majority of the time people have tattoos because they mean something i.e you know somebody's died or there's been a baby born or you know there's something that they like it's more about it's more about art rather than than graffiti than just scribbling a name on something okay thank you for that christian cordy cullen Cordy, 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 Cordy oh, Cullen. Cordy Cullen, yes. See, stop yes. correcting me sorry, when I'm sorry, correct. Sorry. Thank, oh, that's good. Sorry, I'm glad. Sorry, so, yeah. Sorry. Um, is, it, is that the holiday? The hotel was very quiet, wasn't it? Didn't you think? Well, it was, I, yeah, looked at, I, I think looked it's at, built that way, though. I looked at some of the reviews when we came back. Oh, they're brilliant. They're uh, yeah, but the terrible ones. Someone said the hotel was really noisy, not suitable for this, not good for that. And I'm like, were you at the same hotel? It's just people that might like to moan a lot, isn't yeah, it? There is, yeah. I mean, that's that the hotel um, was. I mean, the way the, the thing is, the yeah. way a convent is built, it is to be quiet. Yes. I mean, the hotel is solid stone. That yes. is one solid, solid yeah, stone. So you're yeah. not going to hear things through the walls no, like people, no. you know, having sex and oh, you know parties and God things. Sake. The doors were so heavy because they were so thick. You know the rooms, the 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 the, the um, what are they called? The chambermaids were wonderful. You didn't see them. No, very very never quiet. Saw them. They, you, um, they never knocked on the door no. once. Because we got up, I suppose, later than most people, yeah. sort of about nine, ten o'clock. Um, although I did make breakfast twice. You made mm. it once, didn't you? Yes. Breakfast was all right, wasn't it? I had uh, cereal and an orange juice and uh, cups of tea and um, you have to read off the menu. Toast and tomatoes and bits of cheese which was quite nice people like to know what they have people like to know that's what it's called it's a chat show you chat i never heard some people i think you were one of them you say oh oh what's your show you do not do you, you do not go on a bit and i'm like well it's a chat show what what do you want me to do play some music people say play a record yeah but it's not a music show it's yeah, a chat you, show you idiot yeah yeah, yeah. I, know, I, know, I don't know what you're telling not, me not you, not you yeah. idiot. So i know it's a chat sh- i know it's a chat show but well, fantastic even staff. even when even when you switch off you yes. still continue to talk what do you mean you just this <laughs> non-stop <laughs> You, we had fantastic stuff. You quite took attachment to one of the boys in the um, oh Alberto in the reception. What was his name? Alberto. Alberto. He was American, wasn't he? Or no, he was. Uh, his mother was uh, it- Italian and his father was American. So he spoke and and was fluent in Italian and American. Oh. You should have seen him hovering around reception all the time, oh. trying to think up another question so that he could go in there and talk to him. No, Alberto kept Terrible. coming out and smiling at me. Terrible. Terrible, and you were you were very excited when one day he was out of his little suit and he came in in a little jean shorts. Yes, he, he was, he was very that, cute. Yes, very dear cute. me. So that was that. We had the good breakfast, um, and you bought you bought your other half a nice a nice I bought, sweatshirt. I bought a, a, a Marshall, Franklin, was it? Franklin and Marshall Franklin and Marshall sweatshirt. How much was that? Eighty nine pounds. Eighty nine pounds for a sweatshirt, which is very reasonable. Eighty nine pounds. To me, that's rest. how much. No, that's how much sweatshirts are. A lot of money that is. No, it's not. How much would that have cost in? Oh, uh, Marge, can you have a look at um, what was it called? Franklin and Marshall. Franklin and Marshall. Can you have a look at Franklin and Marshall sweatshirts, adults, men's size in the states, and tell us how much you can find one of those? Well, for? ah, but the thing is, is Franklin and Marshall is not American; it's Italian. Oh, are they? Yes. What? Well, yeah, They're made in Italy. That's why I bought it. I bet they're still cheaper in the states. Is it is it as dear as it was here, or about the same? No, but, uh, actually, it was a bit less because Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren, he, um, is, is is expensive everywhere. It doesn't matter where you know, but because it's made in Italy, yeah, you know, Ralph Lauren is cheaper in in some parts of America because it's American. So one thing about the room, one little problem with the room, which we didn't complain about, was the the water from the shower. Oh yeah, I mean it was. <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, there I thought it was me. I thought there was it was me. Gap. Right, and I was waiting for him to moan because when he went in the bathroom, there's water everywhere. I thought I'm just waiting for you to moan now. Go on, say something. And he come up and says, "Well, what did you say to me? Do you remember I those said, exact well, words?" Well, I said, "You. It's not one for me to say that it's not you." Thank but you. There was a, a very small uh, on thank the bottom of the shower. Thank you. On the bottom of the shower uh, screen, there's a, a, a plastic strip, and there was a small hole at the end, which was letting the water out. 
I, I took further investigation that it was more than a small hole. You know the, the plastic bit at the bottom? Mm -hmm. It didn't reach the bath. That's, oh. that's, so all the water was just coming through. Completely out of waste. Well, it wasn't time, as bad as when, when, when I was showered, though. Well. There's obviously less of me to shower, isn't there? What do you mean? You're having a laugh. I saw you in your underpants. You know, when you squeeze three elephants coming when in. You, when you squeeze, I was lucky there was no Japanese there, dear, because you would have got harpooned. <laughs> Is that all our holiday? Have we told them everything? No, we. Uh, we uh, right, I haven't told on. them about my my horse. My horse. All oh, the horse ride. and cart. Yes. Horse, horse and carriage. Oh, the, ba carriage. the Vatican Museum first. Sorry, one second. Yes. Carriage. Carriage. The Vatican Museum first. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, so we went to this Vatican Museum, um, and there were so many people. This is where I really got got yeah. overcome with with heat and and people. And I, I kind of moved through fairly quickly, m more than most, and I've, I've lost. Well, I took, lost my, you. I took my time because I wanted to take photos. I, I, I had no problem with standing in the middle of these people while they shuffled around me while I took photos because it, did, it didn't bother me. No. At the end of the day, I was there to look and take photos, regardless of what them people were doing, shuffling through. How they actually saw anything, I don't know. So I would stop in the middle of a corridor and I would stand there while they was going round me like a sea of water going round me while a I was taking sea of water. I didn't care. Tell us about what it was like in there. It was beautiful. Wasn't it? Yeah. The, 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 the artwork, <gasps> the artwork must have taken tens of years to mm. do. I mean, it was just mm. corridor after corridor and these, these corridors were mm. huge. They was 10 people wide yeah. Yeah. and they must have been a good 25 foot yeah. high. Yeah. And, the, and, the, and the there was tapestries curved, hanging and up. There was, yeah, and it was just, it was amazing. If ever you get the chance to go, you, I mean, you, I mean, I don't know whether you, you, all you guys are on Facebook, but there will be pictures going up once I, once I add to the album because I took a huge yeah. amount of pictures. You, you took I a mean, lot more pictures, six hundred yeah. odd pictures. Um, if you want to have a little look at that photo album, uh, it, I haven't got any pictures to show you within the show because there's just too many of them. If you go to my Facebook uh, page, uh, Chris, uh, Facebook dot com forward slash Chris Reardon UK is my Facebook. If you're not a friend just click the ad thing and i'll add you uh facebook.com forward slash chris reardon uk and look for the photo album titled rome 2013 you'll see the photos i've put up first of all also the little videos that we did i think are on there as well if not on the timeline and uh, ron will be adding his photos as well um in the near future and you will see pictures of these just stunning ceilings you have never seen anything like it I know what's if, if 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 you've never seen them. I knew there were pictures on the ceiling mm. be before I went. What I didn't expect was just how many of them there were, and how good they were, oh, the, the, and the, how vibrant the colours were. Yeah. Well, have they ever been uh, touched no, up? They, they, well, that... they, yeah, there would be. I mean, obviously, because you get settlement movements in buildings and stuff, and things do crack. That's why there was people walking around, and they do touch them up. Right. But the majority yeah, of the picture... we saw that, yeah. didn't we? There was a man walking around with a little... Um, palette of colours and paintbrushes yeah they do they do touch them up but the majority of the paintings that were done yes. over the past i don't know three four hundred years are the original ones there i mean they are amazing absolutely amazing i mean you know you know the, the, the sistine mm. chapel that took years to do yeah oh yeah i mean yeah. and you know absolutely beautiful that was quite funny in there with the Oh yes, Silencio. So I, no I kind talking. Of, I walk through um, all these beautiful places. Um, as I say, that the, the pictures on the ceilings, and they weren't they weren't just pictures on the ceilings. They were uh, they came out the ceiling. What 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 would you call that? Empty. No, not cut. The, the, you know, pictures on the ceiling. They had they actually had frames around them. Some of them, and they they came. They weren't flat on the ceiling. They came out three D. They're not. It's so, just, yes, yeah, but it's 3D, not. But they're yes. not three D. They're no. not three D. It's just the way that they are painted to look that way. Weird. They, they weren't flat on the ceiling. Some of them were. The majority. So, yeah. Were, no, no, they are. They but are. There flat were other bits that was. There were like almost a frame around them that was sticking out. Yeah, but the the frame would be. It, it, the frame would be a framing of. You know, like when you get in houses, you get dado rails. Yes, like, that, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, it yeah, would yeah, be. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that yeah. would be in intricate, handmade plaster work. Just stunning. You've never seen anything like it. And as I say, I know what you're thinking. Pictures on the ceiling. Okay, you get a general idea. When you go and see them, that idea will be blown away. It's com completely different to what's they in are, your head. They are completely stunning. Have complete stunning. landscape scenes of. Yeah battles and it's just it's phenomenal that's mm. what it is it's absolutely mm. phenomenal and then i met him again in the sistine chapel 
um, I, I finally got there eventually, and I managed to get a, as I, as I got in there, a seat became free, so I jumped on the seat because there's only about space for ten people to sit yeah. down at the side of the Sistine Chapel. This chapel was full, I mean, just full of people. So many people in there, and this is where the Pope goes to pray sometimes. Did you? Did you well, know they, they shuffle people through, yeah. don't they? They try and yeah. get them through as quickly as Not possible. Not in a Sistine Chapel. They, oh, they, they left us in there. No, no. If you watch them, the three people were at the top shuffling through, and then there yeah. was another two the other side shuffling them out. Yeah, but the bit in the middle, you, you could stay there. As oh, long as yeah. You we we must have been in there an hour. No. Yes. It an hour? Oh, it must have been an hour. Well, it might have been for you, but twenty, 20 minutes. Okay. Well, maybe so for you, twenty minutes. And this is where Ron caught up with me, and. um Again, you know, that the artwork in there, pictures all over the place, on the walls, on the ceilings. Oh, just fantastic. Through there, then we went to had a, a cup of tea and that, didn't we? Yes. A, a little cake or something like that. And uh, then we came out and uh, couldn't get back into the... We, we thought we were going to be able to queue jump into the Vatican, but what happened uh, into St Peter's Church? What happened is that we, we left the museum and walked round. Apparently... We were supposed to go into the church through a door in the museum, yeah. so we were told. But we didn't, we didn't know that, so we'd already come out. So we went round, tried to join this queue, and then we went to the front, and we said to this bloke, well, we got these, how do we get in? He said, no, you've got to use the door in the museum. So then Ron, I got very tired at this time, so I went back to the hotel room. I've just finished. Yeah. Absolutely finished. But Ron walked all the way round to the museum, and what happened? They said, no, you have to queue. Basically, so, had to queue. So you never actually. I'm so I'm disappointed that you didn't get the opportunity. Yeah, I'm to disappointed. See but you know, I wasn't going to stand there and queue with, mm. with those people. I, I don't do queues. So I went and got myself. I booked myself a horse and carriage to take me round yes. home, which was wonderful. It was a you know, um, it was it was yes, it was quite expensive, but. Being driven around Rome on a horse and carriage meant that you could just stop, jump off, take photos. Mm. You know, I went to the Spanish Steps. Um, what are the I Spanish past, Steps? What are they? Mussolini's window. Um, I went past the, you know, the the um, Colosseum. What is the, the Spanish Steps? It's a beautiful set of steps that lead up to a church, to a, to a Spanish church. And what, what, why, why? Have you got photos of that? I have. Yes. Okay. I look forward to seeing. And also the, uh, past that fountain, I can't think of the name of it. Huge Trevelli. 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 Oh, that was a beautiful In fountain. Trevelli. And it was wonderful. It was very, very nice to do that. And then I, I had a walk around the. Um, around the Colosseum and then I took a, le a, le a leisurely walk back to the hotel and it was wonderful it was absolutely wonderful yeah and then we met up didn't we and we had a bit of dinner yeah we had dinner we w uh, I actually bumped into you in the street didn't I yes you was I, lost I got lost again you was lost <laughs> <laughs> that's coming from the hotel to the restaurant it can't be more than five minutes away not even five and we'd already been away. we'd already been three times yeah we'd been three times and got lost again uh, luckily he uh, bumped it. and as you bumped into me I was about to go back to the hotel and I thought well he won't find me here he will find me at the hotel yeah your company because your phone had died by this time I think. yeah it had yeah I had well, yeah, I, knew, I, I knew if pictures. I went back to the hotel, you'd, you'd come back yeah. there eventually uh, at some point. But um, we had a nice another dinner again, and then um, then it was uh, then it was Tuesday, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, the Time only thing the on. only thing I, I will say about the there's a tax in Rome. Um, it's called a room tax. So you 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 pay for the hotel, uh, you know, when you when you book it. Uh, let's say it was a thousand euros or whatever yeah. it was. There is then, depending on what city you're in in, in Italy. A hotel tax which is anything from three to five or eight euros a day per person um so at the end of the holiday there was another i don't know 30 odd euro to pay which is you know it's okay but really that should be included in the actual price it yeah, should be yeah. it's like an extra bonus for them at the end of the day but we paid it and uh, off we went, went to the went to the i think i don't think italy is the only place to do that i think there are other places that do that mm. They do all sorts of, there's some countries that, that they have a leaving tax, so you have to oh, pay yeah, like, something. Oh yeah, like the yeah. Caribbean, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's the right, yeah. yeah, I've um, done that. They have, you have to pay them, um, I don't know, something no, like 10 or 20 do dollars, dollars or yeah. something like that to leave the country, otherwise I don't let you leave. Yeah. I mean, quite honestly, what, 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 what would they do? Oh, no, we might be eaten, we might be eaten. Not in the Caribbean. One of those countries. Why are you saying that? Size of you do, you could feed a small African country. <laughs> small African village. Country. <laughs> So Tuesday came, and uh, we sadly packed our cases, didn't we? Yeah. And we had a bit of lunch somewhere. Yeah, we, well, we had a late checkout, so we sat downstairs and had tea as well. Yeah, that was nice. And, um... Oh, we had another ice... And that's where I had um, my haircut. 
I had my haircut on the, on the uh, Tuesday just before we come out, and we had another one of those huge ice creams. Very delicious. No, I didn't. I had a, I had a crepe. Oh, which yes, I couldn't that, finish. It which was, was nice. so sickly. Well, it was a bit sweet, weren't it? A bit. Cho- chocolate and banana, was it? Chocolate and chocolate and well, na- banana. Nutella. Nutella, Nutella. yeah. It was Actually, so Nutella, sweet. it didn't... I've never had... I don't think I've had Nutella before. Is it just basically a pancake? No, a crepe is a pancake. Right. And what they do is they, they put different things in it and they call it crepes. It's, it's just a so, European way. So, how do you... How could I do that downstairs? I could get a ready-made pancake. They sell packets. Yeah, them, and they? then you just smother Nutella on it and fold it in half, slice up some banana, put that in it, and then fold it into like a. And into then you have like to reheat triangle. it. Then I suppose, do you? Well, How? No, you. Uh, well, you could. Yeah, you you, no, you could do those in, in a pan. Do those in a frying pan. Okay. So you can get the ready-made right. ones that are done. Yeah. You drop it in a pan to heat it up, and then while, then when you turn it over so it's hot both sides, you sm- smear some Nutella on it, yeah. you've had some sliced banana ready, you put that on, and then you fold it up and eat it. That could be a, quite a healthy thing if you knocked out the chocolate, couldn't you? You could just have the banana. You could have just fruit on there, couldn't you? Yeah, but you've got eggs and stuff in the pancake, haven't oh, you? okay. Yeah. Milk. Yeah, yeah. Milk. Milk. Yes. You've gone silent. It's not good to go silent. Just remember where we're, we're going now. So that's it. So we got the, we then got a car back to the um, airport, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, which was and 45 th- This is the bit of BA that Ron didn't, really didn't like. Oh, it's hey, horrendous. The, the, the BA lounge at... Now, what is it? Fulencio. No, from, from, from a Chio or something like that. From at the end of the day, was, I've wasn't, been... wasn't the Leonardo da Vinci airport? No. It was the from a Chio or something like I think that. It was, it was, I think it's like their equipment, uh, their equivalent to Gatwick. Right, okay. You know, but, you know, I've been in many lounges in many airports we across were many countries across the world and I was sorely disappointed. We were disappointed. With the bits of cardboard sandwiches oh, with dreadful, dried up dreadful. coleslaw in. Half the machines mm. weren't working, the chairs were uncomfortable and... Two toilets! And two toilets. Two toilets and it, no showers. And no showers. I mean, BA, what are you doing? Very disappointed with Very that. disappointed. They will Heathrow, be Heathrow? Getting... Fantastic? Uh, well, no. Fantastic? No, no, no. Heathrow was... Okay. What do you mean okay? Well, because I've been in the Virgin Lounge at Heathrow and they do the f- f- range of food in there oh. is amazing. Well, I'm going there. Take my nephew to that one. Yeah, the range of food in there is amazing. Whereas the one in Heathrow is not is not not, not as good. There's not up, not up, not up to standard. And that's it. Then we got home, and that was the end of the holiday, wasn't well, it? Well, no. And then I bumped into Nancy. Oh, Christ! Oh, n- this this very oh, glamorous never, never woman been walked in. So embarrassed. No, she's super glamorous. So is, this no 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 no. Let me talk. Your head shot round like that head in The Exorcist. <gasps> yeah, Nancy, Dela- Nancy Delalio. He's, he's up in. like this, looking. Well, no. First of all, she stood in front of us, and she was on the phone arguing with someone, and she kept looking Probably at about me. the BA lounge. Yeah, she was on the phone, and she looked at me. She smiled, and then carried on having a go at someone. The shoes were amazing. They was obviously Christian Louboutins. She looks fabulous. Anyway, so she she sits down. And I said to Chris, I've got to go and say hello. So I walked over. I said. Uh, Good afternoon, Mr. L- Mr. Lalia. She said, hello. I said, uh, would you? She said, no, not a problem at all. And I had my photo taken with her. And she was saying about, she was uh, a bit of a mad Italian and her friends are a bit of a mad Italian. I said, but they're mad Italians with style. And she said to me, she said, you have style yourself. Obviously, I was dressed in Ralph Lauren, you know, and she did have a good look. But she's uh, lovely. And she got on the plane. It was quite funny. She sat in front of us on the plane and she looked at us and she said, no noise. I'm having a no sleep. No noise. I'm having a sleep. Which was quite funny as well. But she was, um, she's lovely. And but- you know, she's extremely intelligent. Oh, she, I could she's tell a, that. She's I a high-flying lawyer. She may have been. She I may have been that. Sven Euren well, Eriksson's girlfriend, but she had a. She's got her own career. She uh, trained to be a. I've read up about her. She trained to be a lawyer. She's a top lawyer, and she earns a fortune doing it. You know, she's a fashion. She's a fashion icon. You know, she's she's just a fabulous. Is she a lawyer? Yeah, she's a lawyer. She is a lawyer. But I just can't believe how you you went went up to someone and said, "Can I have a photo?" No, I no, mean, no, I, no. I first told of you no. where to go. No, no, no. First of all, first of all, I went up and I I, I introduced you know I introduced myself and I said that I'd seen her on on uh, on the television, and that I thought she was great. You know, there's 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 a way of either running up to someone screaming, "Can I have your autograph? Can I have my photo taken?" Like most of the majority of people do. Whereas me, I strolled up. Good afternoon, Mister Lario. Sorry to interrupt you. Interrupt your your. Um, I'm a great fan of yours. You know, there's a way of talking to people. You know, but they expect that Why because they're you celebrity. Talk to me like that, because then? you're not a celebrity. I never said I was. But you go on like you're a celebrity. I certainly do not. You do. Certainly do not. 
Not a celebrity. How do I get on with well, it? A bit like Jimmy Savile. I don't look like anything like Jimmy Savile. <laughs> do I look like Jimmy Savile? <laughs> that was a joke. Come on, take oh, a joke. For sake. Get on with it. So, yeah. So, um, so, and she was lovely. And, you know, then we got on the plane. Um, the food was mediocre on the plane, as it always is. But we had china and we had proper cutlery. Yeah, it was all right. And tea. We I had lots of tea. I didn't like the. I didn't like the the, the, the food. So they got me a, a wrap, didn't they? they got, from you, economy. You've moved out. You've moved out. From now, economy. So they got me a wrap. From economy. Which I was quite happy with cheese and cheese and economy wrap. Cheese and economy wrap. Was it cheese and tomato wrap? Very nice. Cheese and economy I had wrap. Two of those. Thank you very much. Two. Yeah, we can tell. Two. And then we got home, and uh, your boyfriend met yeah. us. Uh, Andy picked us up Andy from the airport. Up from the airport. And um, come home, and, and the rest it. is done. The rest, and they say, is history. There we are. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. I do appreciate your interruptions. Can I just show you what my sister said? Morning, brother dear, because you know I'm taking my nephew to Florida. Yes. In Here is a child strap for you. <laughs> she sent me this child strap. I could try this out. How does that work then? It says, please attach it to Jimmy when you are in the USA so you do not lose my little boy. Strap is adjustable so he cannot get free. Lots of love, sis. I think that's wonderful. <laughs> does that go around the neck? No, it doesn't. It, goes, does around it, the, go? it goes around the arm. The arm? Yeah. Will it be able to slip out of that ease? Oh, uh, oh, look. It's adjustable. Yeah, let me try this out. Put your hand through that now. See, oh yeah, that does work well, doesn't it? So you put that on. Is that... <laughs> What? Oh, that's too tight. There you are. Now let's try. Look, look. Okay. Let's just try this. Okay, Jimmy, come to the shop. Come to the shops. <laughs> come to the shops. <laughs> Actually, you could walk Katie around what on this. What is that smell on this? I don't know, but can you get it off my wrist before oh, it I come out like of like cats. I reckon your cats had a wee on this. I bet go oh, wash my hand. Smell it. Right, look. Who's that on the mo oh, your mobile Andy. phone? Andy. Oh, is it? Is he watching as well? Maybe. He's getting check? around as well. Shall I getting around as well. Yeah. That'd be quite nice. So there we are. There's our little holiday. And it was a nice time, wasn't it? It was wonderful. We had our usual friend rouse that we had, which weren't really rouse, it was just because I got so tired all the blooming time. Thank you, sis. Thank you, Sharon, for that. I will, of course, attach that to my nephew, your son, so that he does not get lost in the USA. A bit concerned, actually, because Jimmy is 16, he's quite a good-looking English boy, right? And I'm worried that American girls will be throwing themselves at him in Orlando. I'm very concerned about that. Well, that's OK. It'll only be a phase. Oh, dear, dear me. So, the, the, my, so, so get that, USA people. My nephew is on his way. If you're in with a chance, you've got to come for it. You'll have to be vetted by me first, ladies, I'm afraid. Vetted by me first. And that's it. And it, unfortunately, he's shown no interest at all in coming to the Barry Manilow concert. Obviously. One Direction or something like that, yeah. He did say to me, is Justin Bieber on? Is it Bieber or Bieber? I'm never quite sure. Justin, Bieber. I spit at my fans' awful oh, Bieber. Dreadful. Dreadful. All right. Now, uh, it's just coming up to 18 minutes past one, uh, Saturday the 14th of September 2013. You can join in if you want to, boys and girls. Um, if you're watching a recording, then you can always join in by email. The email address is chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. OK, whether you're with us live or watching a recording, uh, join in like that. Uh, email chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. If you're with us live on this Saturday morning, you can join in either by Skype. Skype username is all one word, Chris Reardon, C-H-R-I-S. R-E-A-R-D-O-N, OK? Skype username, Chris Reardon. Or by phone. It's a local London number. 020-8133-6358. 020-8133-6358. Perhaps while Ron is still here at the moment, you might want to ask him a question. You know, preferably not about me, because he does know all my deep, dark, intimate... In, oh, in, I in, some secrets. Tea, to be honest with oh, you. Oh, yeah, make me I'm a cup while you're down No, there, it's, 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 it's for you to make do. I'm the guest. I've got to do all these now, haven't I? It's emails to read out. Well, two of them. Uh, emails to me. To me. Does, does it say to Ron? No. Hi, Chris. Good morning, Chris. Uh, hi, Chris. Uh, that's from Ian. Ian, you know Ian, don't you? He, he often writes in. Hey, boyo. I think I assume that's to me. Hi, Chris. All oh, to me. Boyo, you're hardly a boy. I've got to read these out. Thank oh, you. Well, I'll wait for you to make me tea. 
I'll uh, just hear quietly. All right, well, I, I'll, I will make you a cup of tea then, while I just uh, do these. Do you want to look at those couple of emails? I just want to say hello. Oh, hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. It's Joe Furness. How are you? In Manchesterford. Manchesterford. Is that... Have you been to Manchester? Once I went to a club. Oh, I love it. I went to one. I went to a club opening there. I was I was going out with a little DJ called Miguel. Oh, he was a midget, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was tiny a midget, little tiny man. little thing, and he used to stamp his feet when he couldn't get his own way. <laughs> I used to laugh at him. And um, we went to a club opening there, and um, we stayed in a very nice hotel. Um, Which hotel? Oh, the the best one. Was it called the Grand or something? Isn't it? I stayed there. Beautiful, really old inside. Yeah, very old. A big chandelier yeah. and a massive staircase. Yeah, that's right. Very, yeah. yeah, I stayed yeah, there. It was very nice. It was very nice. But, um, yeah, the club was rubbish. Did we fly first class? No, we flew club. Yeah. There is no first class on um, European flights um, with BA. It's only club or economy. And the, the, the club class, actually, on a European route, isn't that more ex much more expensive than the uh, economy ones? No, really. it's, 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 it's OK. It's, it's not up to standard but it's okay yeah, it's, it's, all right. it's better it's better we it's have better. more room it's all for me it's all about the size of the seat well, it needs to be ass. yeah <laughs> huge thank you joe how nice to hear from young joe finesse it's been ages since uh, i heard from you my darling uh, sean wants to know have you got ants in your pants because you keep moving around no hey eh? i'm actually commando today oh same here always am yeah, that's why you get chafing. <laughs> I got, oh, I did get that. Yeah. Oh, I got chafing with all the walking around. Not pleasant. Uh, Cordelia says, you must be in the money. You like your labels. I love labels. You pay for quality. It's as simple as that. Why, why pay Why pay three pounds for ten t-shirts for ten t -shirts from the market that after two washes are going to be out of, out of shape when you can buy an Armani t-shirt for 55 pounds that's going to last, you know, years? They are. See? So it's all, it's all cost effective at the end of the day. Thank you, Cordelia. Uh, Cordy? Me? Cordy, not Cordelia. Cordy. Well, yeah, Cordy. But Cordelia is the full name. Yeah but, her, yeah, but it says Cordy up there, so we call yeah. her Cordy. Yeah. Thank you. And <sighs> um, what was the other thing I was going to do? Oh, stop. Oh, designer cats. Yes, my cats are very designer uh, because of their names. Oh, it's Cordy. Oh, it is Cordy. Oh, oh, that's that. my, my, my thing. Thank you. Oh, look, you've missed all this. Love your singing. Oh, man. No, no, not that song. Not that one. That's well, hideous. you came and you gave without taking. Uh, no, where are we? Designer cats. Yes, they are. Uh, that's because it wasn't designer graffiti in Rome. Um, there's no such thing as designer graffiti. There is there is art graffiti, which would have been better as long as it wasn't all over doors and things. It would have been better on walls. And stop picking on Chris. Why does he sing? Because he has... Because because he's good at singing. singing. Now, yeah, I but it's very annoying after a while. Though, I don't, on and on and on. I don't class myself as good at singing. No, I don't I really either. Don't. Now, if I'm going to make you a cup of tea, I wonder if someone wants to ring in. Um, perhaps... No, oh, I'll do the emails. Uh, perhaps Marge would like to... Would you like to ring in Marge at all? And then you can speak to Ron while I go downstairs and, and no, make a cup of tea uh, actually, or something. You know, I, I'll do. I'll, I'll go downstairs. Apparently, we act like an old married couple. Oh, well, cheese, wine, and Chris just get better with age. Thank you, Marge. I'm so pleased to hear that. Do you know it's a vintage? It's a scary thought, really. I am actually closer now to sixty than forty. Yeah, only just, but nevertheless, I am. Yeah. Um, Marge is amused by the child harness. <laughs> Can you imagine some girl trying to chat him up? I just, come over here. I just yank him away quickly. He won't put that on him, poor child. <laughs> yes, he will. He doesn't want to get lost. 16 years old. He'll be fine. He won't. Oh. He'll get lost. What's the point in taking him on holiday? Got to look after really my nephew. worried all the time. Got to look after him. I might wash it first, though. That does smell, doesn't it? I like yeah. a cat's weed on that. I know it has. Does it, does it say, oh, it's made in China. What does it say on the label? So for six months to four years. Yeah, the thing is, the, the, <laughs> the thing is, it's not going to say if it's been peed on by a cat, is it? On the label. <laughs> Go on, you do the emails. Thank you, boys. Thank Marge you, girls. Says, um, Marge says, you can buy a remote-controlled wireless dog collar instead that I use for my Doberman. Zap him if he gets too far. That's a good idea. Oh, that's hot. Oh, I've heard about those. They're like a collar for, for your dog, for your pet. And if it misbehaves, you push a button, it gives you electric shock. Oh, God, we could get, oh, one, of those. No, we like could get one of those for you when yeah. you keep talking. I've hardly said a word. How rude. Um, right, so emails do. Let me just write a, write a little thing here.
Oh, he's gone to make a seat. Are you making me one? Ron? Are you making me one? Sorry. Are you making me one? I can't hear you. Are you making me tea? Yes, I suppose so. Thank you, dear. Long. What? Doing these emails? Well, there's a few to do. Okay. Are we having a chat? I might say, actually, I might save some of them till, um, till next, uh, next week, because there's, they, we're, 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 we've done an hour and a half now. Yeah, exactly. People so to get fed up yeah, if it goes on too long. Sleep. Eh? Thank you. Who needs to sleep? Oh, you do? Okay. Right, let me just do some. Has this mic been working? Hang on. Hello? Hello? Oh, hang on a minute. I don't think this mic has actually been even working, is it? Or has it? Has it? Or maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. I don't know. Let me turn it, turn it down. Does that work? Hello? Does that work? There we are. <laughs> Has this other mic? Well, you must must have been working because you, you, no one's complained. Um, Marge says, "Yes, Americans swoon over the UK accent. Remember the Beatles? Yeah, I do remember the Beatles. Very popular. Now let's turn that up a little bit there. See if I can make a couple of adjustments. I think I'm doing doing things wrong here. What do you say? You remember the Civil War in America? What Civil War? I wasn't around for the Civil War. Thank you. Dear me. Okay, email time then." Um, uh, first of all, uh, good news from Millie. Millie in Minnesota, who's a, a regular listener to the show. And Millie uh, came to the UK a couple of years ago, I think it was. I can't remember exactly when. Um, and had a wonderful time. And I met up with her and she came to Belushi's and sang a couple of songs at the karaoke. And Millie writes, good news, lovey. My trip to England is officially going forward. She's going to be here between the 3rd of April and the 18th of April. Now, that's not when Barry Manilow's here, is it? By any chance? Oh, hang on. I know what I've done. There we are. One minute. Better? There we are. We're, we're here now. No, uh, when, when's Barry here? I think he's here in April, if, I'm, if I remember rightly. Or is it May? One minute, I've got my receipts here. Because uh, they, they have now taken the money for my Barry Manilow tickets. I'm quite pleased about that, because once they've taken the money, you know you've got them. Um, it doesn't say now. It's just, just, the, just the invoice for the... Uh, tickets I think yeah okay now I, I think I think he's in May uh, my mother Suzanne and her sister Sandra Fleming will be in London for the last two days as I'm in England and I would very much like to take you out and I for a meal at the hotel I'm staying in it's the Chancery Court the same place I stayed at last time oh yes I, he, he, she stayed at a wonderful hotel a really really nice posh hotel in I think it was Hoban wasn't it Hoban she was staying uh, you were staying, um, Millie. Uh, my mother has told me that she would like to do this either on the 16th or the 17th of April. Would you please let me know which of these two days would work best for you so that I can then pass it on to my mum? She's really looking forward to meeting you and so is my aunt Sandra. So I, I, I too am looking forward to this because of course I've met you, Millie, but I haven't met um, uh, your mum and uh, your aunt there. So I shall let you know which date as you give me a choice of dates i'll i'll work out which one to take off and uh, that'd be brilliant so thank you very much for, thank you very very much for asking me uh, to come to that okay uh gotta say hello to wendy who actually sent this in last week uh, she said good morning woke up early this morning so i've been watching your show before i had to make a move who keeps phoning you with that music on the other end of the phone do you know well it hasn't happened today but no I don't know who's been phoning me and playing music down the down the line, but it doesn't matter anyway, you know, because it it's only takes a second or two to um, uh, to um, uh, uh, click off and then and carry on with the show. Um, oh, Wendy's just message. It's the thirteenth of May. Is the first night of Wembley. Okay, so the Barry shows are in uh, in May. So uh, uh, you'll miss that, Millie, which is a shame. You could have got a ticket and come with us all. Couldn't you? I'm sure we got we got wheelchair access, easy wheelchair access, certainly at the O2. I don't know about Wembley. There's plenty of room at the O2. Just watching the bit about John, his spray on hair and the rain. Can you just imagine it? It's very funny. Oh, do you know John? I don't. What? What? what 
I've, I've, I've probably forgotten what I'm talking about there. Spray. Oh, yes, yes, John, and his spray on the hair. I know. Yeah, because on the last show, the one just before a holiday, I was saying about my bald spot here, that's it. And um, John, uh, has, uh, one of the uh, listeners to the show, has got this can of spray stuff that you spray, and it looks like you've got loads of hair. The only thing is it's not waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> and when it rains or something like that, it just sort of runs down his face. It's probably uh, not a good, not a good idea. Uh, Sean wants to know when I'm going to see Barry. I'm going to see Barry in Wembley on the 13th of May, and at the O2 on the 13th, 21st of May. So they're, they're the two, I think it's the 21st of May. So I'm going on the first concert and the last concert here in the UK. Okay, not coming over your way, I'm afraid, Sean. So I'm afraid I will not be able to visit you. Um, she said, had a laugh at the joke about the woman who was in a coma and then died. I thought it was funny, yes. <laughs> kind of remembered me uh, of my hubby when he was in hospital. It was an awful joke, wasn't it? I'm not going to tell it again. If, if you missed it, then you obviously didn't watch the last show, did you? You want to watch the last show now? I thought you might do. Um, if you ever want to watch any of the old shows, or going further back, listen, because we haven't always been doing video, we were doing audio once, then you can find them by going to unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. All the old shows are there, and then when we finish recording a new live show, it goes up there as well uh, a number of hours later, because it takes a while to, to save the video and all that business, OK? So once again, the main website for this show is unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Wendy says, sorry, I've got a really wicked sense of humour at times, Chris. Um, you might not think this is funny because it's really sick, but I was crying laughing, and I mean crying. Did you read about the Polish man who was killed when the bin he was sleeping in was picked up by a waste lorry in Dublin? <laughs> what an awful way to go. Oh, my God, can you just imagine that? Been picked up by the bin, thrown into the back of the um, dust cart thing, and crushed. Well, I hope he didn't wake up, dear. You know, there's a number of sick but funny jokes, you know, there's the old Whitney Houston jokes that go around all the time. One of which was, you know, at least she was clean when she went. You know, a lot of people would be horrified at jokes like that. Some people would find them funny. What, do you find something like that funny or not? Or is it really in bad taste to say, Whitney Houston, oh, very sad she died. At least she was clean. Let us know on the email, OK? Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. I know what I think. Sorry if that doesn't appeal to your sense of humour. Well, it does, I'm afraid. <laughs> but my hubby roared laughing too, so we were as bad as one another. You've got to laugh at life. Wendy, I absolutely think you have to laugh at life. There's too many people out there who are offended by the slightest thing. They really are. You've got to laugh at life, you know. I mean, I know people with terrible... Ill I know a particular person at this moment with cancer. And she laughs at it in the face. She takes the mick out of herself with the cancer. And that is how you deal with these nasty things that are sent to test us. You really do. Not everyone can do it. You know, there might be one or two people at the moment say, oh, I couldn't laugh at my illness or something like that. I know, I understand that, that, that that's you. I, mean, I, ha I have a little something that I have a bit of a problem with, OK? But I laugh at it. I turn it into a joke. Don't ask me what it is. I won't tell you, OK? But I laugh at it. I laugh at it. And that's how you deal with things. Good on my, my friend, uh, she's a lady, and she had the, the, the breast cancer. She laughs at it. She's had it once, it's come back, which is even worse. But she stands there and takes the mick out of herself, and that's how you deal with these things, OK? Um, you would think I know better after what happened to my brother, but oh, it made me laugh. I don't know what happened to your brother, actually. Did you tell me before, Wendy? Oh, well. Um... Wendy also says, the timing of the show on Saturday, Monday or Tuesday, we're asking. Well, we've decided on the Saturday now. Thanks, Ron. Appreciate that. You turn your mic back on in case you want no, to talk. No, no, no. In, 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 you know. Um, funnily enough, Anita and I were chatting about that earlier today. She was saying 
um, that she would love to have a chat with you on the show sometimes, but the time the show is currently on at Friday is far too early for her, so maybe it would be good for her to have a chat with Anita about what time she thinks. For me, it doesn't really matter at the moment. Well, we've kind of settled on Saturday afternoons at 12 o'clock now. I do realise, of course, Marge is still has to get up at like 6 in the morning, but that's a little bit better than 4 in the morning, I suppose, isn't it? All right. Um, got to say hi again. This came in on the last show to uh, PV PV seven 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 who sends this um, on a YouTube message. It says hi, Chris. Cheers from Russia. Uh, nice to learn English with you. So we have someone in uh, Russia uh, listening to the show. Hello to Ian. Now I did. Su why? Why is that noise you're making? Are you eating a sweet? What are you eating? That be better not be my last piece of baked world tart. It might have been a small bag of crisps. Oh, what ones did you have? Cheese and onion waitrose. Are they quite... Oh, was it okay? Because I had one of those yesterday. It was stale. No, it was, it was okay. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Just uh, I don't know what to yeah, do. Yeah, you're wittering on again. Come on. I'm not wittering on. I'm trying to read these emails. Uh, Ian says, because I did say, you know, if you ever want your uh, birthday read or something like that, just, just let us know. Happy birthday! No, it's not his birthday yet. Oh. Ian says, my birthday is January the 31st, Chris. I would be honoured for you to have to sing to me. Yeah, well, if you just tell us sort of a couple of weeks before or a week before, that's enough. Five, five um, months is a, is a bit much. Five months <laughs> is a bit much, Ian. Five months. However, because you've sent this in, I'm going to put this in my little birthday calendar. I've got, I think it's mybirthday.com or something like that. And then it sends you a little message on the email a couple of days before and then a the day before so you don't miss the birthday. So I'll probably do that. That's very intelligently clever. Yeah, will you shut your mouth for five Five minutes. I'm you've, just you've saying. Just, I've spoken non-stop for an hour on my show. Honestly. Um, my birthday is January 31st, Chris. I would be honoured to have you sing with me. I was born the same day that, th oh, you'll love this, 300,000 Germans surrendered to the Russians at the Battle of Stalingrad. Is it Stalingrad? Stalingrad, yeah. Stalingrad in 1943, which is even earlier than I was born. I was born in 1963. Really? I thought you were in the Boer War. 1963. Um, by the way, I don't think my birth had anything to do with the Germans surrendering. And that's from Ian. Thank you, Ian. Ian's in Canada. Um, oh, just a second. There we are. Oh, we've got someone in Germany now. Hi, Chris. I've seen you on YouTube. We've actually got someone in Germany now. Rossi. Hello, Rossi. Welcome to the show. OK, we're about three quarters of the way through it now three we're just quarters. on emails at the moment if you want to um send us a couple of messages in rossi that's okay you're with us live and i'll be happy to read those out for you uh marge says i always get up at 6 a.m with my job so it's not early loving being uh being able to be with you now so thank you for that marge uh hello to gary hello gary gary is in welsh wales aren't you gary from the valley gary from the valley um, Gary says that's why he says hey boyo you're out of the picture at the moment you know that I know. no one wants to see you anyway you're ugly ugly <laughs> ugly Gary says hey boyo you could put your baskets because we talked about my hanging baskets and I was getting fed up watering them actually they're on the way out now there's not many flowers left now the little uh, fuchsias are just dropping down all over the blooming place hey boyo you could put your hanging baskets on a pulley and just lower them down and water them uh, rise back up and lock off or you can get a water pump spray with a long neck. Keep up the good work. I quite like the idea of the pulleys, actually. No. That's something we could do, because we are DIY people now, aren't we? We've done a few little jobs. We have done a few little jobs. I put a, a new roof on my... A new roof on my um, lean-to next to me. I've cleaned out gutters. I've repaired a gutter pipe with gaffer tape. You see, you don't... <laughs> No need to buy a whole new length of pipe. Repair it with a piece of gaffer tape. Get a, get a gaffer tape out there, please. Bottom drawer. Gaffer tape is the best thing ever. It fixes everything. Absolutely everything. Wonderful. Um, oh, here comes Katie. Hello, Katie. Hello, darling. All right? You haven't been in for a while, have you? Gaffer tape. Could put it across your mouth. Yeah. All right. I'll tell you what. Darling. We could use gaffer tape for waxing. Should seen... we show them? We'll do, it on, we'll do it on Katie. Oh, no, you're not pulling her fur off. Are you okay? Come on, darling. Look who it is. It's Katie. Katie the cat. We haven't seen it. You haven't been on the telly for ages, have you, darling? Aye? Katie the cat. How are you? Is it me you come to see her in? Aye? It's me, look. 
She's gorgeous, look at her. Always, she's very vocal now, especially in the morning, first thing in the morning. Do you want to get down? There you go, darling. Do you want to get sit on there? Oh, she's got her nails out, be warned. Oh, oh, she's off, off she goes. These Thank you, Katie. These are, these are only, only a hundred pound pair of tracksuit bottoms. Oh, you've got little um, yeah, claw holes in there now. Oh, you must get them from your other cat, no, surely. No, I don't do that. Do you not? No. This is gaffer type, okay? Type. Not not cheap, because you're about five quid, I, th I think, something like that in the um, DIY place. Let me tell you, this fixes everything. Guttering, carpets to floors. Kidnapping. Um, uh, uh, broken wing mirrors from cars. It's wonderful. Gaffer tape is the best thing ever. Great fixes for kidnapping. Everything. Great for kidnapping. Yeah, you could, you could, yeah, you could put, put that around me now and kidnap me. I'll put it around Do your you mouth. want to kidnap me? No. Oh. I mean, I hang around outside in dodgy streets all the time. No one ever kidnaps me. It's very disappointing. Um, hello to Yannick, who says, Hi, Chris. The other... Um, I know this is a long show. We're coming up to two hours soon. Look, look at this. Hi, Chris. The other day, you mentioned that you would describe yourself as more of a practical person rather than an academic one. Yeah, I, I'm not very good at... Um, uh, I just don't have the patience. I'm a very impatient person, to be honest. Well, no, I'm not, am I? Not, certainly are. not when I'm driving. Am I? 60 mile an hour is all right. No, I don't think I'm that impatient. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I find it difficult to sit there and... Um, you have a very short attention span. There's a difference. Short attention span. Yes, I'll go along with that. Yeah, because I, I, you know, I can't watch a whole film on the telly. No, 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 no. I, I'll watch 20 minutes and then go and do something. Watch another 20 minutes, go and do something. It takes me... Th takes me four or five days to watch a film. It does. Uh, Yannick says, uh, who's also in Germany, <clears throat> I believe that I'm the complete opposite, as I do tend to struggle at work with my hands, which often make me look clumsy. I'm very self-conscious about my inability to perform tasks involving my hands, and I would definitely consider myself as more of a uh, theoretical than practical person. Well, that doesn't matter, uh, Yannick. You know, each and every one, we're not all the same. Can you just imagine what a boring world it would be if, we were, if, if everyone looked like me and sounded like me? God, it'd be mass suicide. Wouldn't be mass suicide. Uh, due to my lack of practical skills, it often takes me ages to learn new tasks when I do my summer jobs. On the other hand, I can acquire and remember knowledge which is academically relevant very easily. For this reason, I'm currently studying to become a teacher of English and philosophy at secondary level, a profession which suits me well, in my opinion, as I've always enjoyed going to school and passing on my knowledge to others. And, and that's from Yannick. Yeah, Yannick, I've, I've, I've always thought, actually, Yannick, you were a, a pretty intelligent person, whereas I do not class myself as intelligent. Quite often, you know, at the uh, I do a quiz night on Tuesday nights at the um, uh, Mayflower in uh, Rotherhive. 8.30 to 10.30 quiz nights in London. And I, I read these questions and then people ask me questions about the question. And I'm not able to answer them because I'm not, I, d I don't know what the, I've only know the answer because it's written down in front of me. I do not class myself as an intelligent person. There are people out there who pretend to be intelligent. You know. And that, that's even worse. You know, if you don't know about something, then just say. There's, there's, I don't think there's anything wrong with saying, well, actually, I know nothing about football. And then, yeah, but you've got a football question. Yeah, well, I've got the question and the answer in front of me. I'm here to read out the questions. I am not a particularly intelligent person. I have views on things, OK? I do have views on things, but often in an argument... I won't be able to argue the point because I don't know enough about the subject. Do you see, do you see what I mean? So I'm, I don't class myself as intelligent. Yannick, I do class you as an intelligent person. Sorry to interrupt. I must go, dear. Right, I'm going to wrap time up there. It's time for me to go. Can, wait. can you wait a little bit? No, I have to go, dear. We have things to talk I about. Have, I have... So, what? Oh, I don't... I, well, I have Last to, night. I have, a, I have to go. It's late. We'll okay. be quick, then. OK, then. Right, I'm going to wrap up the show now anyway, because we've done an hour and three quarters. I think people get get fed up, certainly watching the recording. Now, I've got some emails. I hope this is all right, Marge. I'm going to hold your email over until uh, the next show, if that's all right, Marge. Are you OK with that? Can you just jot us a little message and, and let me know if that's OK? Oh, she wants to know, is this duct tape? Yeah, what did I call it? 
gaffer. gaffer tape. We call it we can call it gaffer tape. Duct tape is all the same thing. I think very very similar. Anyway, I think one's shiny and one's not shiny. Don't There's know. a non shiny one in there. One goes so, quack. Yes. One goes quack. So it is um, uh, duct tape. Oh look, Marge is pleased to see Katie, and so is Wendy. Wendy is happy to see Katie. She's very happy to see Katie the cat appear. Um, I've got emails here from uh, from James, also from Cheryl, about the uh, Barry Manilow concerts. Um, uh, Marge, I think is that it. Oh, yeah, it's only so. There's only four emails here. I thought there was a couple more than that. Hang on a minute. What are these? Oh, oh, oh yeah, I know, you know what I've taken. I've taken stuff off the uh, printer that I'd already done there. So, um, yes. Marge, is that all right to read your uh, email on the next show? And just one more quick one here. Mr. Media Mate says, I noticed your computer graphics at the start of the video looking great. Keep up the good work. So thank you very much for those. Uh, the computer graphics that you see at the beginning and at the end of the show are actually um, uh, bought for just $5.00. I found a little site on the internet called Fiverr.com. I think it's F I double V E R or F I V E double R dot com. And if you look on there, you'll find loads of people doing things for just five dollars. I typed in graphics and up come these things. So I sent them my logo, and people made these for just five dollars. So I did actually pay for those. I'm not again. I'm not uh, intelligent enough to be able to do something like that myself. All right. Okay then, uh, that's it from the show. Don't forget the show is now. Um, oh yes, uh, Marge says that's great. I might may call you next Saturday. Please do so. so don't, don't forget the show is now live on Saturday afternoons at come come interview now. No no no, it's fine. You've got to say goodbye. I will say goodbye. You've don't got worry. to say goodbye. Um, Saturday afternoons at twelve o'clock uh, midday UK time. The show is now. Okay, so once again, the show every Saturday at twelve o'clock midday UK time. If you're watching a recording, it'd be lovely to hear from you. Just send in an email to Chris at United Kingdom Talk dot co dot UK. Chris at United Kingdom Talk dot co dot UK. And I think that's it. Oh yes, if you're watching the recording and you want to join us live on Saturdays, then you can find the link at the top of the main website for the show, which is unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. All right, boys and girls, that's it then. I shall see you next Saturday at 12 o'clock UK time. Come and say goodbye. And it's goodbye from him. And it's goodbye from me. See you next Saturday. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.